What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense. I'm super excited. We have not had one of these panels with some of my favorite YouTubers in a while. Um, just to let y'all know, I was not late this time. It was Rodney. <laughs> you go put him out there like this. You go put Rodney out there like this. I was all there. Uh, y'all like the video as the intro play, and then I'll do the introduction. <laughs> Could somebody please make it make sense? Make it make sense to me in Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. Make sense. Make it make sense. You know what was up. Big moves. Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Tell me how you make it. Since you over here looking and recording, you gonna get this thigh rub sexy intermission where I ain't doing nothing but standing here and rubbing my thighs and being sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, were you turned on, Jamie? I was not. I was confused. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And why are you rubbing so hard? <laughs> oh, okay, y'all. So this is Jamie. That's me. Um, she was one of the first YouTube channels that I actually like. I couldn't. I didn't miss an episode, especially her uh, RHOA reviews. Uh, we Thank got you. Rodney, who also has a channel. Uh, um, it is low key a little bit my fault. It was a little bit my fault. I sent them the stuff a little bit late, but anyway, whatever. Uh, and last but not least, Gabor, one of my YouTube buddies since the very beginning. We started our channels together. Um, so all these people have channels. Uh, they're all really, really funny. So follow. We're a big family over here. Um, we're actually friends in real life. And that's not something that a lot of YouTubers can say. Nobody wants to be messy. I'll be messy. That's something that a lot of YouTubers <laughs> cannot say. They tolerate each other. They don't really like each other. We're all friends. So anyway, so uh, y'all. We yes. can start with anything y'all want. We could start with Karen, but I low key kind of want to start with Kate to get that out of the way. Um, okay. Kate Middleton, as you all know, announced that she had cancer um, <laughs> like maybe a couple hours ago now. Since then, CNN mm -hmm. has come out with this doctor who is contesting that. Now, when I did my live, people were saying it was AI. Some people said, you know, they feel bad for her. Other people wanted to talk about the fact that her husband might be cheating on her with this lady. Baby. Um, but let's see what CNN had to say real quick. Standing up what was likely to be uh, uh, the problem. And that would be confirmed by pathology. So a piece of the tissue removed, whatever the organ is, or uh, the organ removed, or uh, intestine, for instance, that goes directly to the pathology lab, often during the surgery. Uh, and sometimes whether something is cancer or not will dictate the extent of this, the actual operation. So it's very likely that uh, the surgical team knew or had a good sense of what this was going to be prior to surgery. And that uh, was uh, confirmed at the time of uh, pathologic testing during the operation. So this is something that would have at least been suspected before and confirmed during the operation. That's what they're doing now. So, so Dr. Ryan, pardon my ignorance on this. If somebody has surgery um, and then the cancer is discovered after that surgery, is it because tissues, it, tissue from whatever the area of the surgery, in this case the abdomen, would be taken out and tested? Or would it be... Is it possible that it would be cancer somewhere else in the body that would somehow show up in a blood test or something? Now, um, the point of this is, as Allison said, Allison Jordan, Drew's sister, you see her in the comments, they're tested regularly. So the thought is that they have now kind of like made this up in order to 
get the heat off of the alleged mistress mm. situation. Mm. Any thoughts? I just don't see how why she would lie about something or make something like this up, no matter what's going on. Right. I would never. I don't play with that. She looks hella sick, though, in this video. Like, I feel like it's not far-fetched for her. to Like, there has been clearly a drastic change from what we're used to seeing her look like to now. So, I mean, I, I would think that she probably does have it. I don't even know if the doctor is really saying that she doesn't have it. I don't think he's saying that it doesn't. I don't, I don't think he's that. He's saying that she lied in her video, basically, when she gave the, you know... She had another operation, and then after that is when they found the cancer cells. He, I don't really understand what CNN was doing here. He's not treated this woman. And True. It just, Why is I, this a conversation? You know, I think this is what I want to say. I don't know too much about Kate. I will say this. The only thing that concerned me was why wasn't her husband behind her when she announced this to the world? If I'm telling the world that I have cancer, I'm going to need my husband. Because, you know, Prince Harry wouldn't have left Megan out there like that. Prince Harry would have been sitting right beside okay. him. Prince Harry gave up everything for Megan. So you think he's going to have that lady come out and tell the world that she has cancer and not even sit beside her and rub her shoulder? Rub her back? Only thing brushing against that shoulder is the wind. <laughs> That's it. He's it's definitely it's Okay. Where's your okay. husband at, girl? Is he with the other lady? Are y'all not together? That, is, that was not expected. Not is he with the other lady? Oh I, was to get the other lady. <laughs> I have some, and I feel like what I'm saying makes sense. I think it does. I agree. I sure do. I didn't think about that at first, and I'm glad that you brought that to my attention because I'm more so focused on this doctor. Like, where did this come from? Why are we even questioning her uh, diagnosis? But when you say that, I'm like, ooh. And now you hear about the cheating allegations. It only adds more. Look, Alice, she looks like she che she's sleeping with him. Now she was, did, you saw that side eye? He was, <laughs> the side eye he was giving her? At least it looked like he looking at her. Oh, that's the girl? That's supposed to be the girl? That's, the girl. Mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. her. That's her. Now, I will mm -hmm. say this much. I was thinking CNN, you a little messy. <laughs> like, y'all really y'all really ran to hell to the newsroom and said that this lady was lying about cancer. Now, that's a whole other level of mess with CNN. But it can't be messier than people killing the queen? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> What did the boy say? You it can't be messier queen. than killing the queen. Remember when that report came out that she was gone because we couldn't see her? And they I was one of the people who reported that. Reported that. I don't remember. Jason Lee, Jason Lee, he stood on, he quadrupled down. Like the queen is dead. I got word from the house. He did. He did. Palace. The, the queen is dead. He did. He did. I remember. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> He did. That's what he did, honey. And he stood in. He stood in it too. Yeah, he stood in there. But we ain't. And then we saw. And then we saw that lady walking. We saw that lady walking Monday morning. Which was like, oh, and then, then they put her behind the wheel of a car. I could. Uh, yeah, they put her behind the wheel of a car. Like everything was good. I said, did y'all know she didn't go from the bed they, to the They propped room, her like, behind the wheel of a car. They, <laughs> they propped her. Up. Propped her like she really was. I'm like, girl. Mm -mm. But the man said the queen is dead, and I'm getting word from Buckingham Palace the queen is dead. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. As if he was in the hospital. The only way he could tell me that the queen was dead, he should have been there himself. But um, I feel bad for for Kate, for Kate a little bit. I feel I, bad for her. And say. you know, the daddy got it too. William daddy got cancer Let's learn too. that, yeah. Uh, I will say that I, had, a new wife. I did notice. The wife got it too? Um, no, I said a new wife, the mistress. Oh. oh. The mistress that's queen. Mm. What you say, Rodney? No, I was, I was saying that I did notice that, you know, I know we're all getting older and aging, but I did notice, I felt like it was a drastic change with Kate. Mm. Like, it just looked like, I, I just remember, I don't remember her looking the way that she did in that video. 
So I can yes. see something possibly being wrong with her, like, unless she just stressed out. <laughs> and that's yes, she, she's <laughs> always looked fragile, but she does look even more fragile in the video mm -hmm. for sure. And and for me, it's not even district because she's sick. It's the neck area that's mm -hmm. like, dang. That's what I was looking at. It's she really looks she look real sick, y'all, for real. Yeah. What I was what I talked about earlier, which is one thing that I didn't talk, I didn't discuss this topic was mm -hmm. because of Chadwick. That's like people Ooh. were sending me pictures of her about a, like a month ago saying, you know, when are you going to start covering this? And I was just like, I can't start covering something based on somebody looking gaunt or sick because you just really you never mm -hmm. know. So that's why I didn't cover it. But I want to wish her well. Um, okay. And what'd you say? <laughs> I said, that's why people said we need to stop talking about Eva because we don't know what was going on with Chadwick. Yeah, Eva is Eva is very, <laughs> you know, what's hard now is because so many people are on Ozempic. You so mad. So, <laughs> so many people are on Ozempic. So it's hard because you really just never know. You never and know. And it's so hard too, though. We got people that lied about having the C word before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For storylines and stuff. Or they For call sure. them scares like Mia and Kenya. You know, they both done it before too on, on, <laughs> on their shows. So. Yeah. Kenya did it too. Yeah, yes, you remember? You remember she was crying at season on season six. I, I don't remember that, Gabor. Me oh, neither. Baby, you, you better remember it. Ooh. Watch season six again. Well, she um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. we will okay. not have Sandra. Can you cry? Can you? Can you, I remember Kenya crying at the reunion, saying everybody reached out to her except for Nene. She got checked up. There was no cancer. They, she got checked up. They found something. So they also found something with Portia. What they found with Portia? Lies. I mean, what they found with Portia? <laughs> we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it with Portia. We know what they found with Portia. He's a kind artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So this story is especially for Gabor because Gabor is okay. cool with this girl. Um, he knows this story back and front. I don't even know if Gabor has this update, but I'm throwing this in here. Gabor's favorite person. Megan mm. has settled. If you guys don't remember Megan, Megan was a police officer who had been real, real friendly with all the police officers in her division. Megan mm. has now said that, you know, it wasn't the fact that she was... Have you ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up? She said that she was groomed. And because she is, you know, a Caucasian lady who's fragile, mm -hmm. they, they have settled with her. Mm -hmm. Do we believe that Megan was groomed or do we believe that Megan... Have you ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up? I don't believe nothing about grooming <clears throat> at all. Um, I think... In general she... or just with her? With her. Mm -hmm. With her. I remember uh, reading up on this story a while back. Um, I just have a hard time believing her. I mean, she went beyond just the partners in the the men in the um, police force or whatever. She was doing stuff with their wives, too. So mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, <laughs> girl, stop lying. And it's <laughs> y'all finna eat me up. But it's given the mouth area for me that, that I really feel like you be really be, you be about that. Wow. Just looking at your smile really makes you know, she's an MRA, she's an MRA, but that's how she got the job because they was expecting her to go in there and do that. Mm -hmm. You know, she I don't understand how she passed the police test. Right. I, I, I knew what Megan was gonna do. I knew that Megan was going to pull, I hate to say it, the white woman card. Mm -hmm. I said this in my, one of my videos. I said Megan is gonna pull the I was mentally ill. You know, that's why I was out here throwing cat at everybody. Um, no and shit. lips. And lips. Cat and lips. She was a Jezebel. That's just what it is. And mm -hmm. I knew she was going to pull this up. And now Miss Cena walked away with half a million dollars. Girl, I I, <clears throat> listen. Girl, after you done did all that, that guzzling. Money. You might well use that mouth for some good. And <laughs> probably woof. $500,000. That's that ain't a lot of money. For all six of them? They didn't say that she actually got 500000 they, oh, they, oh, okay. they said that she got a settlement, but I don't think it I don't think it was the full settlement. I'm gonna look it up a little bit later. Mm. I heard, I read that it was the five hundred thousand dollars plus her lawyer fees and all of the other fees and stuff she had to pay. All of that is included within the five hundred thousand dollars. I do believe she got it. <clears throat> I could believe she got it. They Let's probably didn't want to do again. it. From the, from the text messages, she said the one in the middle, he was the big daddy. 
The one Ooh. in the middle? The middle bottom. Yeah, the middle bottom. Y'all bottom. wrong for that. The middle bottom. He said he's the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> no. She said that he was the big daddy. They said that he was the he was the he was the he was the, he was the one. Oh, uh, so he was giving it to her. Yeah. Listen, they paid yeah. her that five K. That five. The white boys got jealous. I'm like, I mean, Megan. You know, her husband stayed with her. Yeah, her husband stayed yeah. with her. He's, <clears throat> the husband said that he was park working ranger. a dog or something. Yeah, he was a park ranger and he was working or something. Somebody had came up to him and act, asked about his wife, about them having an open relationship or something. Because they had seen video. Real open. It was real, real open. She was giving bukkakis in the office. They was doing it in the office. They was doing it in the break room, in the cars. Yep. And like Jamie said, they was having parties and stuff, and she was with their wives. Yep. Not to defend her, but mm-hmm. I will say this much. In my honest opinion, I feel- Rodney, hold on. Before you, before you give your honest opinion, we got like 2,500 people in the chat, and we don't even have 1,000 likes. Oh, no. Now, y'all, I didn't have to beg these people to come on this show. They don't even like me like that. And <laughs> they're here- <laughs> Damn, hey, we don't even have light come on okay Rodney <laughs> um, I will say that <laughs> I, I, I could see something you know I could see a look clicking you know it ain't going all the way up there because you know it's one thing for somebody to have an affair or mess with somebody at their job girl you just passing around cooch to pretty much everybody in the office so I, I can see how they could pull the old if that's what they said she's meant to, you know she's mentally ill because who really goes to work and sleeps with that many people one maybe two if you're on a different floor but not <laughs> and you and you messing with the wives too i can see right. how, if, if, i mean if it looks good you're gonna go to the next floor Really, you gonna take the stairs? You gonna take the, if it's right? You gonna go? You gonna make your way? I feel bad for the person in the office who wasn't getting any. That's oh, who I feel bad. For. <laughs> they was mad. The one who wasn't getting some. What <laughs> happened to the officers that you know participated in this? Did anything happen to them? I want to say at least three of them got fired. The black mm. ones. Yeah, I think some of them got fired. The black mm. ones. Wow. They got fired, and she got some money. Ain't that crazy? It is. Well, if Drake's baby mama, the you know, adult film star, can draw paintings for the Pope, then Megan can get her five hundred thousand. You go from being adult film star to somebody who can take a meeting with the Pope and draw paintings for him that are put up in the um, Vatican. Wow, must be nice. It must be. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I, that, that story was for you, boy, especially. Gabor does not know that woman, but Gabor covered this story very closely. Gabor gave play by play. We have to read the messages. We have to see what was going on. Did she initiate <laughs> any of it? I couldn't remember. Gabor, I don't remember if she was initiating it. I can't. I can't. I can't remember. No. Do you say what? Did she initiate any of the activity that took place? No, I want to say that the guy in the top, the top, the guy in the top middle is the one who hired her. So he was like the manager, and then the one at the bottom, he was like a special lieutenant or something, and the rest of them was officers. And the messages was going from one of the white boys. I think it was the guy at the bottom right, and they he was upset or something. I don't know. It was it was so long ago. But it, it, oh yes, crazy. yes, the Hispanic guy. Uh-huh. The Hispanic mm-hmm. guy was upset because he really wasn't getting it like the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Got you. And that's what yeah, happened. I remember that? Yeah. And see, that's I can't. The part for me is reason. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't think it's being groomed is because more people, I feel, more women would have probably came out about how they tried them, and nobody else came and corroborated her story or anything aside from the men validating that. Yeah, this went down, but they didn't, if that was the case, they would have tried. To me, that's what I would think that more, at least one other woman would have been like, yeah, they came to me with that. So that's why I'm like, mm, I don't think you're solely just a victim in this situation. But that's just what I think. But I, I do see them bypassing her, the her process since he becoming an officer, though. Mm-hmm. Like to get the job. I mm-hmm. do think that she probably they look past I gave a job to get the job. Mm, come on. Right. <laughs> I feel 
But what happened to, you know, if, if somebody giving away like that, why would you even want it? Because. If everybody at the job got it. They don't care. They were all probably, okay, so they probably had yeah, like a care. swinger thing, right? Because some of the wives were in, included as well. So mm -hmm. this was probably after work stuff. And they look like the type of people who be naked in the woods um, with some beers and all their wives and swapping. That's what I get from every one of these people. Mm -hmm. Except for the little fella at the end, he gives me he wasn't included at the parties, and that's why he was mad. <laughs> See, on. don't be the ones you gotta watch, the ones you least expect. Me, but I gotta tell you, these hoes ain't loyal. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, Megan has a word for all y'all who don't believe her. I'm considered a hoe no more. I don't really got no nobody in the last like two no or three more. years. She said know? no more. Don't say no. No, more. your whole your wholeness can get deleted. Your wholeness can get deleted. That's for you all. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. You're about 4,000 child support. She ain't worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. He's not. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to lie. What kind of sucks about what they're doing to Drea? Somebody mm -hmm. put out a whole um, video on everybody she's been with. Ooh. And I'm like, you can't really do that to Drea when Drake has been with every stripper in Houston, allegedly. Hello. And Rihanna. And Black China, And um, the list Johnny goes Blaze. Blaze. Johnny Blaze actually said that she lost a child. Mm -hmm. You went in Johnny Blaze raw. She decided that she was still gonna perform. Johnny Blaze is the one who had the abortion on stage. No, no, don't say that word. I mean, the yeah, the, the M. C yeah, but mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. that was supposed to be Drake's baby. And the gag, oh, wow. if you, it, it's, and I think Johnny Blaze is is a nice looking lady. Um, how and ever, <laughs> you know, if Drake was going in her without protection, he was going in everybody else without protection. Mm. Mm. I bet you Rihanna made him. Does Drake? I mean, because the thing of the, the the thing of the matter is, Drake, I'm sure, has access to a lot of, lot of vagina, and I'm sure that he has access to some of the baddest looking girls walking around. So if he's raw dogging Johnny, he's for sure doing it to the other girls. Okay. Yeah. Talking about Drea, <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, Drea has the man future, future got the babies to prove it, y'all. Hello, that's crazy. It's crazy that people are still having babies with him because the money ain't that long, it ain't. Mm. That's you know, when Marlo got robbed, they were trying to rob one of Future's baby mamas and just hit her, too. Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah, see, Drea is the first baby mama for Jalen, <laughs> so. She gonna be all right. <laughs> now the tenth baby mama for future. Uh -uh. Um. So Chris Brown said dating me is fun. You get a comedian, mental patient, and a P star all in one. And somebody said in a box or two. I fell. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. When I saw this post, I was like, Chris, baby. He That's wrote that. Mental, I thought this was mental like mental a. Mental I thought this was fake. <laughs> no, -uh, he did that. Yeah, the he mental patient, something. that's enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mental patient is enough, and the mock the, the boxer and mental patient is enough. <laughs> Don't nobody want that, Chris. Somebody do. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you said that because clearly this is a post that he took from somewhere and reposted it. So I can imagine the amount of likes that was on this post to show you exactly how many people are on the same page. But what about crackhead? That's crazy. Mm. Um, um, dark skin girl, this post was not for you. If wow. you can't pass the paper bag test, Drake Drake doesn't even want girls of a certain skin tone in his section. He put Drake or Chris I'm Brown. Sorry, Chris Brown, my bad. Chris Brown. I saw some people debating that in the comments. Some people said he doesn't. Some people say he does. Girl, I ain't never been in one to know. <laughs> I ain't never been in no club with Chris. Well, I was in Las Vegas, but that was like a big old, you mm. know. So yeah, I was never nowhere near close to where he was to know. <clears throat> so ladies, are y'all or, or gentlemen or whomever? Is anybody rushing to get on this list? I don't think nobody's rushing to get on that list. Somebody's already dealing with their own comedian, mental patient. <laughs> and porn star. Somebody's already dealing with theirs. 
uh okay okay y'all i didn't want to have to do this but let's somebody said this. yes i'm rushing i'm hollering wait in the comments <laughs> hilarious okay. Y'all, we got about like 3,000 in the chat. I don't know where we are on likes, but definitely hit that like button. All of these people on the panel with me are content creators. Um, so definitely check them out and let them know that <laughs> Mim sent you. Um, just ask you. Thank you so much for gifting memberships. Um, when when somebody gets a gifted membership, they just, it just, the computer generates who gets them. So um, five people are now members, which is good because tomorrow I'm doing my inside well, it's going to be a little messy, but tomorrow I'm talking about like the behind the scenes stuff that goes on on YouTube. And that's going to be a members only live. So just FYI. Um, lovely Mo, thank you for the super sticker. Beatrice, her neck area looks so bad. She still got her hair. Oh, we're talking about um, Prince, the Prince. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat, Beatrice. Um, Negla, both cheating with downgrades, dad and son. You know, sometimes there is a moment for a side piece. Dad. You and my dad was kicking it, but I found out you was a side piece. Yeah, I was a side piece. Why you never tell me that? I did tell you. I'm no, you didn't. I didn't find that out until after he died that you was a side piece. When his main chick came down here to see him after he died. Well, and that's I when I, I found out. I didn't, I didn't tell you. She told you. Yeah, it's right. Exactly. So why didn't you tell me you was a side chick? Well, what does it talk about? Uh-oh. <laughs> So, you know, Whoa. we can't just say that Camilla is the only side chick. She's the only side chick that made it to the throne. But side okay. chick been around forever. She stood oh. beside him. <laughs> they have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Measurement said, well, if they hurt, if they if the head are still big, it can't be easier to tell. That stock is Ozempic. Oh, we're talking about... Um, Oh, I didn't I didn't see these super chats. My bad, guys. Thanks, Measure Man. Chanelica Bancourt said that little country cat at oh. Are we talking about Megan? The country cat? I think so. Thank you, Chanelica. Negla gifted a membership. Booty butter. They say boiled kale coochie is good. I guess we're talking oh, about my. Megan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Trey, uh, thanks for coming to member chat. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Booty butter is, I don't know who booty butter is, but booty butter doesn't hold back. Uh, we just kind of got used to booty butter around here. Okay, so Karen. So as we all know, Karen was involved in a DUI accident. Uh, Rodney gave a video today that said that she had eight citations. Mm-hmm. Eight. Do you mm -hmm. want to kind of tell us what that's about real quick? Um... <laughs> They, they, they were, uh, I, let me try to bring them up. I think I have, well, here we go. You know, I'm messy. I always have stuff. It was just driving, um, uh, vehicle in excessive reason by prudent speed. It was just, I think they just kind of like ta uh, attached up to her. And I heard that in Maryland, when the cops pull, well, somebody was telling me in the comments that in Maryland, when the cops pull you over, they try to give you a ticket for as much stuff as they can. Mm. Mm. I, I think they said they actually had footage come out, but I don't know. Huh? Oh, shit! Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it was eight citations. Girl, that's enough for the season and enough for each cast member. For sure. You get a ticket. You get a ticket. <laughs> you get a ticket. The I'm grand drunk. The mm -hmm. grand drunk. Yep. I'm disappointed in Karen just because of... Her giving oh, us an explanation that involved her mom. Um, do I think that you could be in a space where you know you were really just not feeling great? You might you might be down. But she talked about Mother's Day, which is two months away. Mm -hmm. um, she did not acknowledge that she was inebriated, and that was the biggest thing. If you had said, you know, sometimes I I drink a little bit too much. Both my parents passed away in the same year. You know, Ray isn't hitting it like I want. I can't mess with blue eyes no more. All these things are kind of like affecting me. And, you know, let me start to be a voice for people choosing to go the route of Uber. Then I would have been okay with it. But talking about just your mom being sad and acting as if they are not going to release a statement that you were drunk, I feel like that was ineffective. And I feel like it was insincere. And I feel like the girls on Potomac are going to have a field day with this next year. Absolutely. It 
I think that, but you have to understand, but see, Blue Eyes started off as her driver because she used to drink, drink, drink and drive. Remember, that's why they hired Blue Eyes and she started sleeping with Blue Eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Oh yes, season one. And she was messing with Blue Eyes, she was caught with Blue Eyes. <laughs> this Karen was sleeping with Blue Eyes? Yeah, he was the driver, she was sleeping with him. I'm talking about this Karen though, this mm -hmm. one on, that was on the screen. Or that one? That, that Karen, <laughs> not the new Karen, right? And no. not the old one, but the one in between. Yeah, we had about two. I think with the statement, I, I I really do believe this that Karen is one of those girls who gets caught up into the housewife world, where most of the time, when you really think about it. They don't, they're, Karen, the housewives are really not, I'll just say this, Karen is really not discussed like on Entertainment Tonight, Access Hollywood. They'll play her clips like on Neighborhood Talk, the Jasmine brand, and then she's talked about a lot on Twitter. So I felt like in Karen's head, I'm just going to come out with this BS statement. It's probably not going to reach a lot of people. My fans already defend, defend me no matter what. And I don't think she thought about, oh, Entertainment Tonight, Access Hollywood, E news, like everybody's gonna be talking about it. <laughs> the <laughs> local news station, I, like yeah. because you really I think I really think that Karen and Portia and some of the other girls, <laughs> they really are wrapped into the housewife world where they feel like that <laughs> like it's only this small bubble. <laughs> and no matter what, no matter what, I can just say anything and people will believe it. <laughs> because yeah, how, was going. how can you come out with a statement like that and you know you had probably a bottle in between your legs, girl? You know you know that because you know you went like that, like you told a bold face. Like, well, you excluded information, <laughs> but you know why you ran into that tree. <laughs> if I was gonna tell a bold face lie like that, I would have just said I wasn't even driving. Somebody stole my car. You would have seen me on crutches with a bandaid around my Period. head, and I'd have been looking y'all straight in the eye and said I wasn't driving. Somebody stole my car. Period. The thing for me was the fact that she said, you know, what I hate the most about this entire thing is that the car that was coming towards me was the one that got away. I said, bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Karen, I'm, uh, baby, I'm, I'm not on your side next season. I'm not even going to play with you, especially if you come in and you don't even start off taking accountability because you don't put it on your mother. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to say put it on your mom. You put it on the grieving is what you did. And then you also put it on another car and said they was coming towards you. So I'm just not, you're not to be trusted right now. But the car made it away safely, but the tree didn't. That's what the I'm boy, saying. The boy, what song did it remind you of? I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Lying on her blank mama. Up on, you know, I don't play, play with nobody mama, but she lied. Nikki, Nikki spoke in the existence. Mm, and I hated to have said that because I did not, I was not in full support when Nikki said it at that time. Me neither. Me neither. However, I do feel like if y'all need, this is a POV. This is a POV if a line on your mom was, <laughs> if it was a person, it would be Karen in this moment for sure. And I hate that. Because somebody said, why mess your mama legacy up like that? You love talking about legacy. And for me, y'all know Karen went to that house because she's trying to turn it into like a bed and breakfast and stuff. And I said, you didn't even do that much crying in that moment, which I think would have been warranted of a lot of tears. But you went out to eat, supposedly, and you was just emotional that you couldn't see. And you just was driving and the tears got in your way. And you that's saw the thing that, you know, that's the part that. That's the point that killed me, Jamie, is that she's going around saying, you know, I was so emotional. Girl, you was drunk. You was emotional. You were drunk. You went to go eat. You know what I'm saying? It Like like uh, Rodney said, it could have been with a man. You keep on saying, but a girlfriend, it could have been with a man. You got on the road. You know what I'm saying? It was driving home to Ray. That'll make you cry. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, ran into a tree. But the it was car raining. got away. No. It, I don't know if it was raining or I don't think it was raining. No, I think they said the, the, the police report said extreme conditions, though, that she was driving under extreme conditions. Yeah, because it's a twin turbo V6 in that Maserati. But she that's an extreme condition. Her also, guys, look at look at this. Either she way, it goes, the breathalyzer. 
yeah like where would the other car have come from where are all the other track marks for the other car exactly because the other car just didn't almost hit you turn you off the road and there's there are no marks on the road or you know mm -hmm. I think Karen, Karen has a message. They can come back like Erica Jane did on uh, Real Housewives at Beverly Hills and come back with the I'm the Grand Dom. And I think she's going to try to sweep it under the rug. I thought, sure. to, I thought you were about to I thought you were about to say the excuse <laughs> of it was snowing in Pasadena, California. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> Listen, she has to open up. She has to open up season nine. Season nine needs to open up her open up with her in the confessional mm -hmm. and her saying. My name is Karen and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. And if she do that, they wouldn't they wouldn't drag her. It wouldn't be so they bad as she is. They I, I would still drag her if I was on the cast. I would still drag Karen. I mean, she wouldn't I, be able to say nothing to me, but I wouldn't drag her if she just admitted me, though. Right, as a, as a, okay. Karen would go to HR on them. Alcoholism Ooh. is a disease. She would go to HR she like would. that if you made fun of anything involving alcohol when she actually has. Well, she made fun of Giselle's mental health. She was she did say things like, and now they're going to be HR. Yeah. She went to HR and Candace for saying go to hell. She did. And Giselle she went to death on me. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like she needed help. She did. <laughs> Giselle had told her in that scene, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you a drunk truth. She's a drunk. She's an alcoholic. She is an alcoholic. I mean, this is the thing. I'm just going to speak for myself, nobody else. I think that Karen, <clears throat> excuse me, is an alcoholic. It's, it, it, they've been saying it for eight seasons. We wanted to nine seasons. Too many girls. Sharice said what she said. Robin has told us that, Sher that, that Karen will get drunk and call her phone. Mm -hmm. Giselle told us she's going to tell her drunk truth. At this point, Karen well, Why wasn't calling her phone, so at <laughs> least she should have been happy to get a call. Mm. Karen got to get it together. She's got to get it together. <laughs> But if you calling me drunk and telling me you don't like me, that's because that's when she when she was calling Robin drunk and telling Robin, you know, I don't like you, Rob. You know, it it'll just that's that's the definition of a drunk. What was she telling her? Gabor? If you are a low budget bitch, mm. <laughs> is that is that what she was telling her when she was drunk? She told her she called her she she told her she was a dizzy bitch before. Right in her face one time, but she thought she was the dizziest bitch at the table. Uh, baby, I hate to say it, but if I was Robin, I would come through being like, and who's the ditzy bitch now? <laughs> like Damn. the man you, that was like your, would you like me to bring the receipts woman. as in your citations? Would you like <laughs> me to bring the receipts? Do you want the receipts, baby? <laughs> receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Oh, well. no. The first time Karen got out of line, I'd be like, You're acting like an alcoholic bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. If, if if one of the girls, HR or whatever, it would have to be my last season. If one of the girls don't give it to Karen next season, she deserves to get her wig pulled off. Karen don't mind telling the girls in front of in Bra at BravoCon. She told everybody that Robin shouldn't even have a job. Ooh. In front of everybody at BravoCon. So if, if she went to Candace, girl, y'all better go after Rob. I mean, y'all better go after um Karen. I agree because just, she I'm sorry. She it's likes to act right. like she's the, like, she likes to act like there's a certain class you have to be. Like when she said Wendy isn't of Potomac, uh -huh. she likes to say those type of things as if she is better. And you're just being reminded that, but you ain't nobody, you're the same as all the rest of us. And, and with you putting yourself at such a high level, you know, we definitely expected better from you and we didn't get that. So you do got to sit in this SHI, but I will say Robin can drag me about e motherfucking thing if I was Miss uh, Karen. <laughs> Robin can try, but she couldn't because if you ask me, you got all free because you sat up there and you wanted to whine and cry and sit on the curb in your Monica Hills and, and fill away. With everybody else, because of how they was treating you, but not once did we see you bring that energy to them that embarrassed you. So you could never say shit to me, okay? And you had to be drunk for your nigga to sit up there and tell you that he only bought a bitch a hotel and came home. You couldn't say a god thing to me. She could try all season, but I would definitely be in a sporting match with them for sure. That's so basically, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie would be like this. How do you suck the dick of a coward? But it would be changed to how do you swallow the nut of a cow? <laughs> because she likes to let us know that she she swallows. You remember Karen said that one had came up to her 
and hugged her brother tight, so tight that her chest touched her, her breast touched the back of her back and told her if they ever had a threesome, she would be the one. But that would mean that he would have to sleep with Robin, and I don't think he's willing to do that. Mm. He'll sleep with Karen and Ray, but he's not gonna ah! do that. <laughs> Karen, I told Karen, you we're gonna be it now. <laughs> Karen, Karen has a word for y'all. Karen definitely has a word for y'all. None of it's true. None of it's true. It's BS. They made it up. They lie. They don't want to give me credit for anything. How ignorant is that? You ignorant. F <laughs> Listen, why am I thinking about Karen getting out of the car and she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all remember when that wig was slipping off her damn head? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like that's how she got out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to grab a hold to that goddamn wig. <laughs> I love Karen now. Like I'm, a, I, like, I'm a little dog, believe it or not. I just think that Karen should be drunk. <laughs> I believe that Karen should just be held accountable and I think that the I energy agree. that she has for the other girls, they should have the same energy for her, period. I agree. I think you got That's a good it. point. And Karen is very likable for the most part. We I'm okay. just a bit disappointed. Yeah, she don't okay. if, if I'm being honest about Karen, she don't really start with nobody else. They usually except for Wendy, but for the for the other girls, she didn't really start with them. They usually start with her. <laughs> Hold on. They're usually talking about her. Who that? Karen, Karen, Karen. Oh, you, oh, you talking about like Giselle and Robin them when they came? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would, I would, I definitely yeah. would agree with that. Um, Karen, Karen would not be the one that I want to start with if I don't know how to read. Like Karen will get with you real, real quick. Now I don't know if they were hers, yeah. but if they are, they were hers way better than Phaedra because <laughs> Karen is quick with it. Um, just Patrick said, Mims always, you never disappoint. Having the great panels on with you tonight is the perfect way to end this crazy day. Thank you. Um, we got we got a couple more super chats. <clears throat> Measure man said, "Who gonna save that tree?" Uh, Ali says, "The All Star panel is back. Happy Friday, and congratulations to Jamie. If you guys don't know, Jamie is a new mom to a three month old baby. Who actually, whenever we're on the phone, he's real quiet. He don't be saying nothing. <laughs> One time he did." One time he was, you know, <laughs> fidgety. And, you know, I, I, I didn't hear him cry. Jamie, I was so proud of Jamie because that she a... Jamie is the definition of a working woman, a working mama. <laughs> I just, all I know is I looked at Jamie, popped that baby out, and baby Jamie was back down YouTube making videos. I said, I'm <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I know that. That's what I'm talking about, child. Gotta, gotta keep the flow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the flow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Jamie. Thank um, you. Amanda said Karen's gonna have a hard season. I bet you Sharice is gonna be on full time. Sharice ain't getting on full time. I wondered about that. I don't see her being on full time at all, but I can see us seeing her a little bit more just to bang on some old fucking tables. Y'all know Sharice's banging on tables is equivalent to some old yelling at every damn body on Married to Medicine. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think that's do y'all think that they paid Sharice to come around now? Or did she just come around? I think she just come around. I think she free. just come around. Yeah. That is horrible to say. I think they hate her. What you like she's just desperate. Yeah, I, I think she come. I really don't. I think they come in. I think she's coming around for free. And I think that the girls like her. Most of the girls like her. So they try to come and, um, you know, shoot the scene with her. But Karen ain't going to give her a moment. Because, you know, Carrie. From I think they like her. Yeah, Carrie. Carrie. And I, I think that I think it, I don't want to say Doctor Heavenly said it. Somebody said it that Carrie was shooting that season for free. She didn't get paid. They was like, if you want to come back, back, I don't think they like Sharice. I think that Giselle started tolerating Sharice because Sharice was up Karen's butt. Because if you remember, uh, Sharice had spilled all of Giselle's tea too. Did she? Wasn't it like the first couple seasons? Like Sharice and Giselle, Sharice thought that she was gonna be it. And they kind of relegated Sharice to the end of the line and made Giselle and Karen the face of the show. And Robin. so Sharice wasn't really oh, feeling no, Karen. Yeah. Karen or Giselle those first couple seasons. Mm. I don't remember. I know I didn't watch season two. And then all of a sudden, magically, they were cool again. And I was just like, where did this come from? 
Oh, well, so they you... probably always understood because, you know, they've known each other for years before the show even came about. So maybe they were able to have a conversation and sort it out. Say that again, Sharice. man. She put the group together. Yeah, except Karen. Yeah. <laughs> She, she was trying to fight Giselle. She, she didn't want. She's she trying to fight Sharice. Dang, I'm gonna have to go yeah, back to the early remember season Giselle, again. Remember, she was calling Giselle a hoe, and Giselle had went on Watch What Happens Live and said that Sharice was having sex with the fireman. That Sharice husband was cheating with other women, and she was having sex with the fireman. And Sharice was like, "That's not cool." And um, she was like, "But did I lie though?" And she was like, "Come on, Giselle, you know that's not true." And Giselle was like, "Okay." Like Giselle was basically giving like, "Girl, you know I ain't lying," but. I see you trying to get this alimony. And yet Giselle never knew that Jamal wasn't going to come to that reunion. And Giselle didn't know nothing about who Jamal was sleeping with. And Giselle didn't know about none of the women Ooh. Jamal was sleeping with at a church. Oh, there goes my... <laughs> Good boy, is Jamal coming? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Amanda, thank you so much for the super chat. Negla says, this is Karen's second DUI. First time, it, first time it was a mistake. Second time it's a choice. Mm. Yeah, disappointing, Karen. And Karen, on, on, on some real-ish, you getting lucky, girl, because for this to be your second DUI, you better be glad you ain't hurt nobody. Right? But what if she say that on the show? At least I ain't hit nobody. She, no, she wouldn't be that dumb. I don't yeah. think Karen is. She's dumb enough to put that statement out. <laughs> she was dumb enough to put that statement out. She was. That was just that was dumb. Karen knew she was drunk. Karen knew she had a bottle in her Chanel bag. She knew the whole time. She knew that. She could put that statement out, knowing she was drunk. Like the police wasn't gonna put theirs out. Like people, I think it was exactly what Rodney said. She wasn't expecting expecting it to be that big. She probably thought it was just gonna hit social media, just a little something she was gonna be able to clear up and throw. No, ma'am, this is serious. Karen, they gonna no. use your word. Jackie moment, honestly. Now, they didn't think that they didn't think it was gonna get big. And then all of a sudden we looked up and Dr. Jackie was all over every media outlet, and Karen was Karen, girl, you messed up. You a mess. Yeah, they're gonna use everything you ever said against you, Karen. Baby, I'm only judging what you give me. Are we gonna talk about the reunion trailer? <gasps> I don't have it queued up, but we could talk about it really, really quick. LV, LV said that said, This is a dream. All of my favorite YouTubers, I'm in heaven. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, LV. <laughs> Thank you. I just really wanted to get to um, Ashley and E. Feet. Come confused. Actually, Why is you going home rubbing this man's feet when he sat up there and said, if you mention him on TV, he is going to sue your ass? I don't think a, that deserves a foot rub. She's a fool. Ashley is getting fired. I don't think she's coming back. Mm -hmm. you're a slip show. There's no, if you're separated from your husband then and y'all live in two different at, at two different addresses, and how are you rubbing his feet every night unless y'all really live together? I don't think you really got that house, and he was suing Candace for that $2 million to pay out that house because y'all were really using that house as part of a storyline. I done clocked everything that's going on up there in Maryland, Virginia. I don't think that she was ever leaving the man. I think that she said that divorce storyline because he was the he was damn near her storyline every year. They was finding something to talk about him every year. And I think that she, if she said that they was going to be separated or they was going to get a divorce, he wouldn't have to show up for filming. But she slipped up, like Jamie said, when she was FaceTiming them kids and he actually got a confessional and said that he don't want to be on the show no more. And if they find him on the show, she's suing. Thank I think that's what I got in the house. Hmm? That house was just a, it was part of the storyline to make it seem as though they were separated or uh, getting a divorce or whatever. When, but the whole time, they never had a plan. The plan <laughs> was to make sure that Michael didn't have to film. So if we say we're separated, then you, you don't have to worry about film. You don't have to worry about coming. So but I felt like he opted out before they even stated the divorce. Huh? Then he opted out of one of the reunions. It was when Juan nor him came to the reunion. They both had a wedding or something. Yeah. I, mean, I don't believe in any... Like, there's not one iota that I believe that she is massaging a foot. I think she's massaging or milking something, but it ain't a foot with Michael. Yeah, It was like an anal probe. <laughs> it was like, I mean, stretching it. I don't think it's a foot that she's massaging. <laughs> 
listen. <laughs> Ashley doing what she got to do to keep from being under that brick. I mean, what did she say? What she said they, they was at when her mom had... The cardboard bar. Her mama dropped her off with her grandparents, but her mama went to go live under a bridge in a cardboard box with a white Yeah, man. Ashley doesn't want to go through that. I can't even fault Ashley. <laughs> I can't fault Ashley, but this is what Ashley, Darby, and her forehead going to have to do. Ashley is going to have to go get that same house that Robin had, that starter home, that started that townhouse. Mm -hmm. And Ashley, you're going to have to get out of that house if you really want to leave your husband. Because as long as your husband has money dangling over your head, you ain't going to never leave. You just need to do something. I hope Ashley been stacking her money. Because yeah, she better be pulling a Dr. Alicia real quick. Hiding at dollars Ashley's been on this show for eight seasons. Ashley makes a decent check. Mm -hmm. Ashley is not the and girl. She don't spend it on a wardrobe. I was about to say that it's not like we see Ashley dripped in designer and fashions and all that. Ashley just gives you regular smeggler girl. So she's and synthetic hair. Nothing. So she what did you, what did you say? And synthetic hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is Ashley, you she better be saving her money because she's not spending it on anything else. So it, I mean, she just need, but she's not leaving Michael. She's Did not leaving. Turn y'all on. Is, is, is this? No. You know what's so crazy? I'm not gonna do lie. anything for anybody. He looked a lot better on that picture than he did these last couple of seasons. Uh -huh. <laughs> not y'all see a little tongue. In the, tree. <laughs> the first season, I'm so embarrassed to say this. The first season, I remember Michael had like on a hat. And he was smiling. I thought Michael was so cute. Wow. I am so embarrassed. But you know, you I want to be very embarrassed, Rodney. I am. You <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I'm so <laughs> Don't ever tell that story. <laughs> so, no. I'm out. Okay. I'm so embarrassed. So, you know what I do think is happening? I think that they're making, I think Mia is coming for everybody's neck. I think that Mia, I don't want Mia to become the girl, but I think that Mia is eventually going to get the top spot. I don't see Maybe the storyline of her child not being her husband? <laughs> Let me see. Hey, Mia, hey, you storyline. Hey. Y'all yeah, rewarding these whole activities. Uh -uh. It's, it's These girls are supposed to be pulled up. And Gabor said, not <laughs> on my watch. <laughs> Most of that trailer was surrounded around Mia. Mia, tell, Mia, Mia got her husband speaking to her side nigga on the phone. She talking about her baby might not be her husband's baby. You might, we might not like Mia as a top girl, but what I'm saying is Mia is working. Period. You have to, you have to be at least somewhat believable. If your husband don't feel that the child is his, the boy is what five, six, seven. That's a quick paternity test. But you know that they don't need that because of Ramo. It's real, real quick if you wanted some extra attention to embarrass your child on national TV. Yeah, that because is messed if, up. If G really didn't believe that that was his child, they'll treat him like they do her oldest child. <gasps> I'm just saying we don't ever see Joshua. They outside having dinner, having having uh, breakfast and stuff. Joshua's never there. They having lunch. Joshua's never there. We don't ever see Joshua. That's just the truth. I thought, oh, my God. Wow. I figure Joshua probably now, I don't see that. want to be seen. He's my like left behind. my my lordy today. Um, in reference to Rodney saying that Mia could potentially be in that top spot, I think it's possible because Gordon's going to help her with that. Because Gordon, <laughs> even though we may think Mia's fake, Gordon comes off very genuine. And his reaction, we all was tuned the hell in when he went to TMZ and went in because we don't expect certain behavior from Gordon. So he's going to have us buy more into her storyline than she probably will because his reactions to her is going to be real and raw. And Gordon, has been? Gordon has released statements for everything and everybody that he is a manipulator and a con artist. I Gordon. have not seen Gordon speak out or do nothing since Peter, before the TMZ video. Peter, he released multiple videos. Gordon and Mia sent me videos in response to that girl that they aired out on their first season. Oh, yes. Like, I think, I think Gordon the, is with the shits. I, FYI, well, I, I, Gordon knows I, it. And I see them wanting to keep this show because the money is funny on the other end. Yeah. So you think the divorce is fake? No, I definitely we, we didn't see no papers filed. Oh, that's true. We seen them go to two counseling sessions and we talking about a divorce. Uh uh. Come better, babe. Oh. I'm gonna yes, read. Yes, that's right. Gordon is going to work with Mia 
Because also, like you said, Mims, the money is funny on the other side of town. Gordon is not going to pull a Michael and just up and no. disappear because Michael don't need the show. Gordon and Mia need the show. So if Gordon got to get on camera and speak to the side, then he is. If Gordon got to sit behind Mia and question the paternity of their child, he will because they need the money. So Mia... And I don't like how they're doing that, they Rodney, because... Be what you say? I don't like how they did, do, did that, that, that might be him. Fine. We ain't got to like it. But what I'm saying is they're going to do what they need to do in order to make sure they keep storylines coming in and so they can keep that check. And Gordon is on board with it. Because that's the biggest well, one it seems like they got. <clears throat> because the truth of the matter the other girls ain't giving us nothing if we're just going to be honest about it. But them kids look like they got an old daddy. We we them kids look just like they got the old daddy. But why would she pick the one that got the they got the issues? Because she had already told us that he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? That the kids at school was making fun of him. She said that this season. Jamal. What? Kind of no, he's of not. not. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just said they just look like they got an old daddy. That's not nothing bad, is it? You also said that he's special needs. Without I didn't say what? that. You did. Mia said that. Mia Wait, said huh? That. What I'm saying is... He, both she did say that he had a... He, yeah, Mia, had a both of those kids look exactly alike, and now they picking which one that they going to... Because remember when yeah, Wendy had said something about retard... I don't think she said oh. retarded. She said something, and Mia was like, oh. oh, I don't like that she says that because my son has a delay or something she... Yes, like she did. Before. You know, mm -hmm. that's the problem. We are uplifting Mia at this point because Mia's the only one really clocking into work, but time and time again, her storylines are lies, they fall flat. Yeah. She's not smart enough to really craft that stuff that's true. believable. It did not take any time for you to go and get a paternity test if two men think that they're the father. Not only that, but you are letting us know that you was they was both dicking you down when you were married to Gordon. Because she yeah. said a long time ago that they broke up a long time ago before she got with Gordon. If he believes he's the father, now you are acknowledging that halfway down the line, he was hitting it raw. That like, and now you have these two kids who I actually think are pretty adorable kids who didn't ask for any of this shit. And you got right. Gordon and Mia and now this man exploiting them. So although Mia is clocking in for work, it's more of an embarrassment than she thinks. Now, she did get mm -hmm. that Fashion Nova contract, and I'm assuming that's where she got her dress for the reunion. But other than that, I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling it. I know yeah. we, we 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 have a truce because I had said some things about her background, <laughs> and now we're in a positive space. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you got to think about these kids moving forward. Well, and I, yeah, this is it. I mean, and the kids are the future. But if they ain't worried about their kids, I'm not worried about their kids. Mm. But you're a part of their village, Uncle Rodney. What you say? You're a part of their village, village, Uncle Rodney. <laughs> you so fancy. <laughs> I, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to sound just like it's about the TV show. But when I tune in, you know, I watch these shows to be entertained. I don't watch these shows to help you raise your kids. If mm. you're not concerned about your kids, and I'm not concerned about your kids, your kids go home to you, not to me. They watch the show and have to report to you, not to me. Not Rodney said, "F them kids." <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, I, listen. But I do if feel bad for the young man to have to deal listen. with that. You know your children have access to to this show. Your son is old enough to go into the living room and turn the TV on and turn on Bravo. If you're not concerned about your child turning on television and seeing mm -hmm. mommy and daddy talk about my daddy is not my daddy, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say is like, that mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say is that um, Jeffrey and the little girl I can't think of her name. I know it started with a J, but they are identical and they don't look like Mia, so. If what I'm saying is if they think that Gordon is not his Jeremiah's daddy, then he can't possibly be the little girl daddy either, then, right? Yeah, so why are y'all playing with this storyline on this show? But you have to realize to be salacious. You have to realize that 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 Gordon also suffers from erectile dysfunction and that they already said they had that that agreement that Mia could go out and have sex with other men. 
probably in no, front I, of I'm me. not saying that I'm not saying that the storyline is not fake, but what I'm saying is it could be real because if Mia was out here having sex with other men, there in is a possibility that there was a slip up and there's a possibility that it could not be his child. <laughs> it all when you think about it, for me, it all kind of flows. You don't, your stuff not working. You said I can go and have sex with other men. I'm having sex with other men. I slipped up, had unprotected sex. The son might not be yours. That's Ooh, so baby. Mm, yeah. That's so too much. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> That's, this that, little boy can go I, either I, way. I, I think I'm a producer anyways, but that's literally, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because Gordon can't get up. And Mia, and they let us know that, that Mia has sex with other men. But I think it was in front of him. I really do. Oh my. I think it was in front of him. Anytime that you can go to, I, I'm sure they were at Hallover Beach in Miami. Oh, here we go. I'm sure they were at Hallover when he was married and she was passing out coochie coupons on the beach. I'm pretty sure that he was like, I'm not getting this at home. So I might as well as, you know, bring her home. And, you know, there's a lot more. We just saw a whole swinging party. There's a lot more swingers out here than, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was like in the confines of what we have, you know, I'll watch. I think Gordon would have watched Mia with Karen if Karen would have allowed it. I think Gordon would watch Mia Karen with after the right brunch, and who knows? <laughs> I think Gordon would yeah, watch, after the right brunch. I think Gordon would watch Mia with a man, just like Juan. <laughs> he would have had to pay for Juan. Huh? Juan would you would have to pay for Juan. No, I said Juan will watch Robin with a man. Yeah, he did say that. I don't think he would watch her with a man. He, she said it. He said I think, it. I, but at a W.O. <laughs> <laughs> with, <laughs> with a man is what is it? With a man. Like, that's what she said. <laughs> she did. We'll just tell you what Robin said. But well, Robin did say that on the show. She did say he said she he wants to watch is one of his fans. Just because Robin said it don't make it true, though. <laughs> Here we go. You know what I'm saying? We don't never hear one say nothing. All we hear is Robin saying what one said, as if he can't talk or something. But ain't no woman getting on TV talking about my man said he, another man want to smash. She, she wanted us to think that one, that one still want her. Yeah, oh, she did. She said, Michael said he would suck. I, Michael said, I'd suck his D. She, she's very comfortable with one out there doing whatever. Allegedly. Paying hotel bills when he's probably not paying no bills at home. Oh, oh like, Jesus! Tell him how I can run your, I can run the establishment. Isn't that what he said this Sunday? I and, said, he, and he didn't even show up to the reunion. He did, and I saw that. I say, so you, I, baby, let me. And he you. ain't even I, got a job. She, Robin, she could go. Let me tell you something. Robin couldn't even put her mouth on me for two seconds. I would turn her to shreds. Ain't no way you gonna say anything about my husband. But she and, says she swallowed. And, and, she was, I think she was talking about Candace, uh, Chris's penis. You yes. can't say nothing about my husband and his penis. Your man is telling everybody that he drove to the other side of town to pay for somebody's hotel room, but he can't even show up and sit beside behind, behind you. you After say, he entertained her in the DMs for how long? Before he went and booked that hotel? What if it was with Robin's credit card? Oh, would that be a mess? <laughs> oh my. Robin looks like a fool over that man. Robin got on watch back yeah. and said that she believed everything that he said. Robin can say two words to me when I mean ripping her neck, head off her neck. But I mean, this is the thing where when, when I she she is a lost cause because after he said what he said to the producer that term about how he wouldn't be there no more if it wasn't for the kids, he would have been gone. We would have mm. never we would have never been able to recover from that. Why you would have been able to cameras... recover from you losing all my money? I've been in the well, NBA no. for years. And now we going into foreclosure and living in a two bedroom with four people. But when y'all say that about one, y'all make it seem like it was sixty or something million dollars. It probably was only two or three, and not only like it ain't no money. But one wasn't the hell. One wasn't Michael Jordan. They had a house, he, <clears throat> right? They had a house and they came on the show. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I will say that whatever amount it was, it was more than what they had before. Mm hmm. I and think in Robin's defense, I think that's why she, I think that's why she 
stays with Juan, one, out of com a comfortability. And I also think, too, because she knows that she messes up, she messes up the church's money. And I think that's part of the reason why when she got the prenup, she didn't, I think that he could still take half of the money. If the they guilt is tearing her up. I think she still feels guilty for losing that money. She need therapy. I really I, do think she need, I think she need therapy because um, I remember, I believe it was season two when Karen had talked about when she was R word, Robin had shared that she was also R word in high school mm. by somebody and the next relationship that she got in was with one. And I think it's just hard for her to lead that relationship. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad a little bit yeah. when you think about the Robin Wan situation. For me, it's not sad, but it's kind of like, oh, I can kind of understand why she may still be in the relationship. No, no, I can't. But I, I get why it may be tough because you lost that man's money. You've been with him for a very long time. But at some point, girl, you can't look like no dummy over no man either. It's too late. Agreed. Ship is You started getting in Bravo money and the first thing you want to do is a hat line. Okay. Then you want to go buy an 18 wheeler. Okay. Then you're going to flip houses. An 18 wheeler. Yeah. I'm not when the 18 wheeler came in. Yeah. She went to go and buy 18 wheeler. Her and Giselle. Mm, she had on that flannel and she was, uh, no, you don't remember that? It was an 18 wheeler. She mm -hmm. went and test drove and all that. That's what she wanted to go into. Yeah. Now she's, now she's doing a skincare line. And although Robin, I do think, is a beautiful woman, I don't think she's a beauty brand. No. So, she, I, you know, just like with Giselle. Um, she's not either. Giselle is a beautiful woman. But what I don't like about Giselle is, given the opportunity, you try to look down on everybody that you can. When she thought that she was going to be in Target stores and Karen was just doing her little startup cologne, perfume, whatever, she was all in Karen's face. Oh, you don't have this? Oh, what are we doing? We're still in discovery? What does that mean? You need help with this? But you're a beauty brand that didn't stay in Target for more than a year. And that was a deal brought on by Erica Lyles, who had a connection to her husband, who was cheating. Is she a beauty brand? She's not a, that's the thing. If you were a beauty brand, then even when people don't like you, you can still, pro, you can still produce a viable business, i.e. Kenya. People don't like Kenya, but well, she's a beauty brand and her stuff stays off the shelves. Portia, the difference for mm -hmm. uh, Robin, though, is the fact that it's an actual franchise. So Robin doesn't necessarily have to be the face. That's why I thought this was a good business move for her, because the franchises are pretty much going to sell themselves. If she decides to open up an Ulta, she doesn't need to be. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is my Ulta. She just going to open it up on the in the local shopping center and people just going to be like, oh, I got one closer to me. Let me go to that. Robin should be selling toolkits and flannel shirts. <laughs> you want Robin to be a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> So you want that woman to be a kissing lesbian girl? Shout out to Quad. <laughs> what did she say? You and your lesbian yeah, relationship. relationship. <laughs> they said we was kissing lesbian squirrel. <laughs> oh man! No, I just I can't believe that she would put up with Juan. So I do give her a hard time, probably more than I should. Yeah, she needs to. As much as I feel, I can understand the situation. It's it, girl, you need to leave Juan. Girl, Juan is a man. She do. <laughs> what like what is he good for? Y'all don't have sex. He does not work, so he's not contributing anything to you sexually. He not giving. He's not put giving anything to the household. Like at that point, why are you even here? <laughs> right, because the time has was well, about to expire. Because <laughs> last year, what she said, he has a year. He has fifteen months. Mm -hmm. So they pay him out fifteen months, and but that's, we haven't but heard the, an announcement. Hmm? We haven't heard an announcement, but. I need you to come to this reunion so I can secure my job. There we go. And then he doesn't even support you at the reunion when he Thank needs you that the most. No he matter how you feel money. about it, I we this money take care of our house and our kids. So you go. need to be showing up to this reunion. You're not going to tell me that every year y'all had a game where you could catch a flight to sit at the reunion for a couple of hours and then leave. Not every year you could, and that's crazy. This money takes care of y'all household. She yeah. already born. She already playing second fiddle to Giselle. At least you could say that she got a supportive husband for showing up and participating. Come on, good boy. Yes. I'm just saying. That is I'm true. Just, I'm just saying, if I had to put my kids in a cold shower, I would vow not to have to do that again. That is true. At least he can do a show if I had her back, for sure. 
So and answer some of the questions that she can't. Right. To the point of <laughs> this reunion special, it really annoys me that Robin tries to hold people's foot to the fire about their relationships, given what we have seen from her. <laughs> I don't get it. You over here talking about a limp D. Do you know that that's his limp D? That's what was it brown? Was it brown? Robin couldn't say anything to me about about a man. Period. Because your man, you let you got on TV and told the world that you believe when your man mm -hmm. told you he went to a hotel room, paid for a stranger's hotel, and didn't get no coochie at the end of the night. You really believe that. And then you have the nerve to put your mouth on me and talk about my man and his penis. Let's talk about yours and his. Mm -hmm. Do y'all think it's the show, it's the girls, or do you think it's the producers and stuff that... Producers, too. Producers. Because yeah, I want... To me, and I love Giselle. She's my she's one of my favorite. There he goes. But Giselle has to answer. Giselle switched her story this season, and she said... Candace, your husband made me go into the hotel room in the hotel room and shut the door. That happened. Get over it. And we saw none of that in the trailer. Mm. She she has to answer for saying stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He made yeah. me go into the room now. Now he made you and shut the door. And putting your nasty. kids' life in danger. What is she talking about? Yeah. Yeah, she needs to answer to that. This season I was terrible. Yeah, I feel like Robin has a... You having an unnatural allegiance to losers does not like you. Mm, and that sums her up. Okay, while we're talking about... <laughs> let's get on Nene and Portia. Mm. Who wants to start? I got nothing to say. You got it. I'm team Portia. I think that the Portia was 100% correct. Good boy, how? How, how was she not? I'm team entertainment. <laughs> Go ahead, keep, I mean, go ahead, um, Mills. I feel like it's made up, to be honest with you. I think this was a scheme that they set up to get Nini back on the show. Anytime you have Portia and Nini, I remember the season that Kenya wasn't there, they were, like, arguing, and it was like, she called me a big, fat piggy face. That's where we're at. Like, um, that's really what the arguments are. The door is closed. But you two mistresses are hanging out all the time with your men. Mm, 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 mm. So what is it? And then when Nene was giving her explanation, at no point did she say Portia and I are friends, which is cool. Nene, you're not at that level anymore. Portia is not beneath you anymore. Portia was in a $7 million house with that woman's husband. It is what it is. Portia has came in and technically kind of surpassed. So just acknowledge your friends. And if that's the case, if I would have felt like there was some sincerity there, like I'm hurt because this was my friend who tried to do this, but it was, we hang out, we do this. Well, if I'm just hanging out with you, then maybe I don't want to work with you. And that's fine. If I'm your friend and I do it to you, then that adds another level to it. But that's not what I got. I got some more bullshit that sounds like Nene wants to check from the show. I don't even know if Zeus is going to let her out her contract to do RHOA if they offered it. Mm -hmm. mm. Cause you couldn't do a candy burst chicken. What did she say? Uh, was a chicken shit production or what is mm -hmm. it called? Chilling circuit. Chilling circuit production, but you could mm -hmm. do Zeus mm. two, three times. Well, that she ain't got no choice. <laughs> what is it? I have many jobs. I turn jobs down all the time. Hey, well, what you smiling? He need back because his mom, Greg's insurance money is drying up. She not working. Mm. And the loans that Greg took out before he hit the camera. She got the people knocking on her door about the about the money from the the boutique. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That insurance money from Greg's death. I hate to sound tacky, but we know Greg. We know she better had. We know Nene got some insurance, buddy. And I think that money is. I think that money is about to dry up. That's why she had to run over to Zeus. <laughs> what? Did <laughs> you see the Nene? Nene said that she went to Bethany House and Bethany had three houses on her property and the middle house was like the size of her house and Nene said that she was standing there like, y'all, me and this girl started at the same time and she really made it. And I'm still trying and this girl really made it. Damn, Gazelle, that would hurt my feelings. 
Nini did make it. Let's let's not pretend. At one point, Nini was worth <laughs> between twelve to fifteen million dollars. Nini made it. Nini was able to branch off and do things that other people like Bethany was not. Bethany did not have a successful career outside of this liquor that she produced. I watched that show from the very beginning. The difference is Bethany's business acumen and Bethany was willing to take the hits. Nini always wanted to be here. Bethany was fine passing out crusty muffins on her season of the show with nobody wanting them at a Whole Foods. Cut to her having a drive and, and motivation. Nini, on the other hand, was bigger than Bethany. But I think that Nini kind of like splintered her fan base when she became a very rich bitch. To be honest with you, Nini was my favorite. Nini could do no wrong. If Nini would have had a product, I would have bought it at any time. But again, Nini is not a beauty brand. So her mm. coming out with a clothing store when all she's wearing is caftans and jeans on every episode and a wife beater. Mm. Why would anybody want to look like that? Now, Nini currently where she's, you know, the face filtered and all the everything else, the filters, the fillers, everything. She looks beautiful. The BBL, the fat transfer. You know, Nini looks better now at like 55, 56 than she did when she was 40 with no teeth. Mm -hmm. But I love toothless Nini. Nini was my girl. I would have bought whatever product, but I did not buy into Nini as a product later on because I felt like she was too full of herself. Mm. But I'm glad to see she's back on the come up. I just, I hate seeing her on Zeus because I feel like that is beneath her. To me, sure is. Nini is an actual celebrity. Nini is synonymous with the brand. She's in my head, she's just as big as Andy. She just doesn't have the money. So why can't let me ask a question? Why why couldn't Candy's play at the time be be beneath her? But now Zeus is beneath her. She said I would never leave a I would never leave a Ryan Smurf. At the time, at the time when we been, if we want to be technical, Candy's play probably was underneath beneath Nini. Mm-hmm. But see, the downfall been happening happening for a while now because she was at a candy production when she was trying to be the comedian and opening for Escape. Oh, was was she told she told that nasty Uber joke, <laughs> and they said, "I'm oh, about to get her out of here." Ooh. I didn't get out of here. I hope you get the R word by your Uber driver. That's what she said. And they told her get up out of here. That's what she said. I'm so sorry. I said it to the damn lady. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That was her apology for I real. What she say, Gabor? I'm sorry. I said it to the damn lady. I'm just sorry. <laughs> she did uh-huh. And Candy was looking like, girl, you still want to be over here saying no stuff like that. Yeah, Nene did a lot of stuff to her, so it's really mm-hmm. sad. It's they really said, sad. Might be random, but this is Giselle's opportunity to extend grace and sympathy if she carries as usual. She might just be Lisa Rennett. Uh, Gabor, like she, she has a fan base, but I think nobody else is really into her on this panel. Jamie, are you into into Giselle? Mm-mm. Rodney, um, I used to be. I used to be into Giselle. Like the first season, I thought that she was she could have been the girl. Like the whole, you know, um, I'm wherever I sit is the baddest. Anyways. Remember, she said that wherever I sit is the baddest seat in the building, and. You know, the word on the street is I am the word on the street. I used to go up for Giselle. And she was for talking sure. about going to have sex with people after the show, after after they rapped. Right. Yeah, I got a little son. son. I, I thought she was funny, vivacious. I thought she was very pretty. Mm-hmm. I thought that Karen was kind of just picking on her because she was like the pretty one with no money. And Karen was the one who seemingly had money with the white appliances. But it, it was all smoke and mirrors. Um... Thank you, Ace. Measure Man said, "Some wait, somebody think of the trees." <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, some people are emotional drunks. Some are fighting drunks. Who would be a fighting drunk? Um, Sesame Porsche. Street. Monique. Oh. <laughs> well, well, Portia gets drunk, and she tell everybody somebody gonna put <laughs> Portia go get drunk. I say, "One of you need my buzz in the night." That's a, mm. ooh, that's a different type of fight. Portia, she's aggressive. She might keep, she'll get your head and put your head in between her legs. Because mm. wasn't she drunk when she did that to Cynthia when they fought on that yacht? Yes, she was. So. Yes, mm. she was drunk. And she was drunk when she ran down that street after that girl. After Jamie. Mm-hmm. And she was drunk when she was about to fight Dennis' mama. Wow. She was drunk when she walked out of Simon's house with that Hennessy. And they was drunk when they fought Dennis. Wasn't mm. she drunk then? Mm-hmm. 
You just he never know. He touched my people. family. I never forget that portion. Was that when she was, when she was on her throwing plates across the room? She disrespectful as fuck. <laughs> yeah, trying to fight that lady's mama. I mean, trying to fight Ooh. that mama in Mexico and put him in a Mexican jail. Right, y'all yep. know. Portion that shot girl though. <laughs> y'all that shot. Uh, Karen wasn't drunk. The surgeon tugged on her brain a little too hard the last time he pulled her face back. Ooh. Oh, Trey. I think Karen looks great. This, she I don't even have a good picture of her, but Karen from season, Karen aged backwards. Karen looks great. She looks real good. Karen looks good. I just want her, the lips, like Andy told Kim Zosiak, what, what's the end game for? What's the end game for the lips? Like, I need to know. No, he did it. Oh my god, time to get on Andy and the ski slopes. Ski slopes, oh yeah, cocaina. (laughs) Southern Purchase said, I don't know, Karen Lyon. That talk about that talk of vodka is for the young girls, not the grand dom. Okay, Q says, What's up, Q? Have you seen how big? Oh, (laughs) but boy, you can read this one. Thank you for the super chat cue, the content guy. He said, have you seen how Big Reese dressed? She ain't getting paid. Trust. <laughs> Y'all wrong for that. I just realized what was going on. I'm like, who is Reese? <laughs> Did, y'all see, Big Reese? Did y'all see Big Reese on the new the new uh, clip of Potomac? She walking in, the, in there with a boot? Yeah, I did see that. She walking in the scene with the boot? She's mm-hmm. had that before, though. I remember What's she wearing the boot for? Maybe she mm-hmm. had her. I don't know. Mm. He might have slipped off them kitten heels. Uh, Nina says, hey, y'all, cousin Rodney, I got my cocktail. You be drinking right. on live, Rodney? I got my high. You be drinking on live? I got one, too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Jamie, when was the first time you had a drink after the baby? After you popped out the I baby? haven't. I haven't. You ain't drinking like 12 months? Mm-mm. But you know, I don't really drink like that. I'm not caring. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I have a little piece of wine here or there. Karen don't really like that. That's so true. Why I am I it? And you could have did yeah, it. See? So I, I did it because you never apologized. How did Karen catch that straight? <laughs> Karen said, how did Karen say that? All right. How did I get it? How did I get it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, y'all in dumb with my segment. Um. Okay. Thank you, Nina. Uh. Sandra says, "Hey, Mims, are you going to finish your review of Quiet on the Quiet on the Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV?" Yes, and actually, somebody has reached out to me from the show, mm-hmm. so um, maybe there'll be an interview with somebody who was actually involved. But we have to work out those kind of details. So that's definitely going to come. That was uh, crazy. Adi says, "Cousin is looking good," so I guess the rest of us are looking janky. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, Christy Moss, thank you for the super sticker. Nitwit said, bed. W- oh, are we talking Ashley? A bed winch, just like Candigal said. Ooh. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but, but I can't understand how out. Candy how Candy can say that when Candy, Candace, and Ashley both married the same thing. It's just that Michael got money and Chris is broke. Michael has liver warts. That's too. true. And the difference is Candace still gonna have a house if they separate and Ashley might not. Mm. But she ain't taking care of nobody. But 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 Candace got a dependent and Ashley don't. No. She said, I'm a I'm a hard working single mom with a nanny. And Chris don't. And Chris don't. Not why not Michael wear the pins and Chris don't. <laughs> no, but I, you know, some of the stuff Candy be saying, you know, it, it, you know. Okay, but I do. Oh, I'm okay. I know we're supposed to be on Nini and Portia, but I don't necessarily agree with a lot of the critiques that people have for Candace. There is mm-hmm. a difference between Candace being a beauty queen and marrying a dude who doesn't have any money. I think that Karen Candace actually likes Chris. I know for a fact, in my opinion, because I don't want to get sued um before they should sue me because y'all y'all know i'm looking up the court case to find out exactly who the man was that was allegedly getting paid by michael so they might want to get me then but uh in terms of how i feel about this situation candace married for love and we know she married for love because any woman like kenya said could go to home depot and get some dick hey you need a hammer 
Sure. And to Dick, sure. That's that's just how it works for women. And Candace, even though people don't like her, just like Ashley, she was a beauty queen. If she wanted to go out and get some rich baller, Candace could. She didn't. That's how I know that it's actually the man who she loves. Ashley, on the other hand, is over there milking that man's prostate. And it's for money, allegedly. Mm. So when people are always con condemning Candace, yes, yeah, she married a white man, but she didn't marry a white man for money. It is different. Love and I don't know how people don't see it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not. It ain't the. It ain't that she. It is not that. It's the bad wench comments and how she talked. It's almost like she's looking down on Ashley. But and I feel like she. Money. Maybe it's not nice, because but I feel like money, but she can. Because Chris can't cut off Candace's resources like Michael can cut off Ashley's. Because 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 Candace's mama, Candace's mama is the resource. I was that's the whole point. The bed winch is a low. But I'd rather my mama like. But I don't see what's wrong with Catherine. that though. But the thing is, Catherine what I'm saying is, Chris is living off her, of her, Ashley. Her mom will never do that. But she. But what I'm saying is, at, Chris is living off of Candace. Dorothy is taking care of Candace and her man. Okay, let me say this. No, no, and no, Dorothy no, was I, taking care of I, Candace and her I man. They was living in their mama's no house. I, they was living in her mama's house. Let me jump yes, in. but that's but not. But they that's not. not hold on. They really, not really quickly. That's not the definition. You the the what did what did she say? The goalpost is always moving. A bed winch is somebody who is a slave or a captive. Candace is not captive in her relationship with this man. So when you're saying, oh, oh, uh, she's married to a white man, and so she can't call this woman a bed winch. Technically, a bed winch does not describe the relationship. Candace that, has a lot to say uh, about on, Ashley on, marrying a white on, man, and she got a white on, man Gabor. as well. Is my hold point. on, Gabor. Uh, a bed winch is a captive and or a slave. So mm -hmm. when she uses that read, that read is not a boomerang read that would hit her because she's not a captive in her relationship with Chris. That read was for she called him a, a bed winch, a concubine. Ashley Candace has a lot to say about Ashley being with a white man. My point is Candace is married it's not to about a white, white man, man as well. <laughs> it's not necessarily about a white man. That's not this, that's not included in the definition. If we're dating what I'm telling you is what I'm saying is though she has a lot to say about Candace about Ashley being with a white man and about her being a, a bad witch, a concubine, and all of this other type of stuff. They both mm -hmm. marry white men, so let's just stop there. What well, is well, my point? On. Well, let's start that just one second. What mm -hmm. has she said about Ronnie was I, nervous? I, I, refresh, my, <laughs> refresh my memory. If what I wanted to sit, if I wanted to sit around. And 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 play with old balls and stuff or whatever for, for extra money or whatever. Chris balls is old too. It ain't like playing Chris are around the same age. I have been white, huh? If Chris and Michael are the same age, then Michael I didn't say that they was the same age. <laughs> I said that I said that Candace and Chris are not the same age. He's older than Candace. Let me start. He's, about a, this. Let he, me he's at least this. ten years older than Candace. Let me say this. I have made videos and made fun of. Uh, Chris supposedly not having no job, not having no money. I used to turn Chris up seasons one through probably well, not two because I don't watch two. That people say that Chris actually comes from, I don't know. They say he comes from. He Cor don't. I don't know. Um, I do. I think, that, do I think that Chris? Do I think that Candace is paying most of those bills? Yes. Do, do, Dorothy pretty much told us when they were sitting in the back <laughs> in the back of that yard <laughs> when she was asking. When they were talking about the money this episode, so do mm -hmm. I believe that Candace is taking most taking mo taking care of the bills mostly? Yes, okay. She gonna have to if she don't want that nigga to work a job. It but of course, she don't want to go into. I don't, I don't recall Candace ever <clears throat> talking about Michael being this white man. <laughs> Candace always has something to say about race on this show and other people's color. Candace has made multiple statements about Michael being a white man. And my point is, if they both, they, if, if he's a white man, cool. But she's also married to a white man. I don't and she's remember. Married, and she's like, married to a broke white man. But the thing is. Last this, season, she did say overseer. And, and that may be true. That may be true. But the thing is. Is it a lie? Life will not change mm -mm. if Chris walked out the door. Ashley is over there literally rubbing an old man's feet to make sure that her and her kids will not stay get in a tent. Candace will never have to worry about that. Even if Candace has to go back crawling to Bank of Dorothy, 
Candace will never be homeless. She'll never have to sleep with an old white man for shelter. It'll never happen. Mm -hmm. so, so I think that's, I get what you're saying, Gabor. Candace does bring up race a lot, but I think it's apples and oranges when she calls somebody who has married somebody for money. And I think you would acknowledge that Ashley married for money. Okay, and what's wrong with that? But that's not what I asked you. I just said- But that's what I said. That? No, <laughs> that's not what you- I, I, Let me say you, this. I also think that it's not correct when people say that Candace brings up race a lot. The first season was actually about race. So if anybody- She wasn't on the first season though. She, But she doesn't bring up race I a lot. I think she meant her, her first season. In comparison to your homie Giselle. Giselle made the entire first season about race, if we're gonna be honest about she it. She did. She so did. who brings it up a lot when you had a full season about it? it wasn't I, get, I get what you're saying. I just think that and, it is apples and oranges. If she makes a comment, just because I'm married to a white person, I didn't marry a white person, and I'm not, I, I'm not enslaved by them. You over here talking about you want to divorce this man, and you then got away from him, and okay, well, technically he's still doing this, and now you want to throw out flippantly that you're massaging his feet every day, like we want that. We needed to know that she was massaging his feet the same way we needed to see Smokey Robinson rubbing his thighs in my intro today. <laughs> So that's the that's the point that I'm making. I get that we didn't need to know that, that Chris had a brown. He didn't dick say, if she would have said, "And you married a white man," that's not what she said. She said, "You're a bed wench and you have an overseer. You married a white man for money, and now you are enslaved to him." That's what she said. Ashley can't throw that back at her because she's not enslaved by a white man. Chris could go tomorrow, and she would still have that five thousand square foot house and Dorothy to support her and her doctor daddy. Mm -hmm. And we not. And we're never going to look down on generational wealth, right? We're never going to look at... I'm not... What I'm saying is Candace has a lot to say. Candace and the, and Ashley are damn near in the same situation. They're not. The only difference is that one of their men... The only <laughs> difference not. is that one of their men got money and the other one don't. Gabor, you want to put Candace in the same situation? I'm not trying to put her in the same situation, but what I'm saying is I would have never... What I'm saying is I look at it like Candace... Is them not paying for a, a white man that's broke? Yes, her, I, she's the breadwinner. Of course, her life is not going to change. She's the breadwinner. Candace I, went and got a man that she got that she got more than Ashley did not. And to I, some I, people, it, it's it's to some people. Some people get it. They it's just different. Mm -hmm. It's two different ways. Some people look. Some people will. Some women rather marry men with money. Some women want to be the bag. We got a lot of candies in the world, and we got other women that are not. <laughs> I'm not a white. I, I do. But y'all making it seem like it's wrong for Candace. Is it wrong for Candace to go get? I mean, for Ashley to go get a man with no, with more money than her? No, 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 no. Let me just say something. And it's okay I, for Ashley to take. It's okay for Ashley Candace to take care of a man with her mama money. No, no, I no, think no. that after you decide. Well, one is 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 Candace's money now. And I think at one point when they first got together, Chris was like the head huncher in charge, and things have flipped. Thank you. Things. Go ahead, go ahead, Rodney. No, 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 I'm sorry. I was getting excited. Sorry. No, I was just saying that things have flipped now, yet the entire seasons that we've been watching, Ashley, she's been in the same position so much so, in my opinion, that she stooped even lower because she's over here massaging his feet and she don't bore children that he don't even want. So would that read, the overseer read for you, Gabor, have gone over better if Giselle had said it? Mm. What read? That the overseer. The overseer read. <laughs> Yeah. So wow. it's just the fact that she's married. To, okay. Okay. But the I mean, whole, but the I whole, still think they're that both most, they're both married to white. The, listen, they they both married to white men. For me, I don't think. So for me, the fact that Candace no, people, is taking let, care let, of hold a on, white wait, wait, man. Gabor, hold on one second. So for people who do not know Gabor, Gabor is a what did you used to tell me, Gabor? You are a Black Panther to the heart. Mm -hmm. Gabor is a Black Panther. Oh. So. Uh, just to give you context, but that's not that that has nothing to do with nothing. For me, Candace is is is, is black excellence that when it got a white man who was a throwaway in his community, damn near he he doesn't really have nothing or no qualifications. He he does she if she went and got a man that they she got a, she went and got a man that they was taking care of that her mama had to get on this show and lie and say that he had money. I don't think that's hey, you're talking about Candace. I'm not I'm not mad at Ashley for going somewhere where somebody can take care of her instead of being 
instead of taking care of somebody else. I don't want anybody to ever think that I think that you should not marry, that you should be a fool, foolish enough to marry somebody who ain't got no money. So I'm not mad at Ashley yeah. for making sure that finances played an important part when she was determining who she was going to make her husband. Mm -hmm. But Ashley's also not put herself in a situation where she got a rub of heart. She didn't she, get nothing. Wait. She's still indebted to him. When Chris and Candace were in, in introduced, but we can't say that she didn't get nothing because she hasn't divorced him yet, and we don't know. Right, but we her. can say that not, when we've already went over the prenup, and she ain't not, getting that. Then they have a prenup and a postnup, and it was already established according to Ashley. She sat on in a confessional and said that she's not getting anything. She said that she'll be lucky if she. That's what she you said. Know, in she said it's on a confessional. That's what she a, said in the. I know that's what she said, said in the confessional, but what we have to. That's what she said in the confessional. But what we have to understand is I think that the way that they have treated Ashley on this show, she, Ashley was basically, before Monique came on, she was the only one with money. So everybody is so indebted into what Michael is going to get, what is she's getting when she's divorcing this man. That has been a topic of conversation. And, oh, she just pushed the baby out before the prenup ran out and all of this stuff. Right? So I believe now Michael is kind of holding on to the money or whatever because it seems like that it's almost like a, she went and got a lick, and now everybody know he the lick, and now he finding out when we watching the show. That's what it seems like to me. It's you not, know what I'm saying? Because everybody's talking about the prenup and stuff now. Now Giselle is talking about the prenup, and Robin on. is talking about the prenup. That was the only and, thing that she had, other than not, other people's business. What else were they supposed to talk about? But but my if you if 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 if, if Jamie was with somebody that had got money. And Jamie was getting ready to divorce a man that had millions of dollars. I will not go and sit in, and we was on the show. I would never get somewhere and talk about that on the, in, in front of other people until she got her bag. What I'm saying is, this is every, every everybody's always talking about what Ashley got and what she, what she got this and what she got that. So now she's saying, I don't got nothing, so we can keep them off close. We don't know what she got. She don't have nothing. This is the thing. Regardless if you talk about she ain't what got nothing because she paying her mama bills and her mama got this man living in the house that so i feel like that's where ashley money going and i think that we I all hope not. that the prenup was already established prior to them getting on the show once they got on the show i think they went back and did a redraft of the prenup and michael made sure those cameras are not in the room Ashley mm -hmm. not getting nothing michael is an old rich white man he may be a lot of things but he ain't stupid with his money this is not michael's first time at the rodeo if y'all think that michael got with ashley and thought that this one young girl was gonna come in and snatch his money Maybe y'all are sadly mistaken. Michael is not new to this. You think Michael was a fool to get with a young girl and thought and and, then, and not think that oh no, that okay, I know I'm I know she's with me because of my money. I'm with her because she's young. Ashley not getting nothing. The the bank of Michael is closed. Michael is not an idiot. You don't become a you don't become as wealthy as Michael because you're stupid with your money. Unless you're a chocolate man, six foot. Wait. Michael has other kids and other and other ex wives. Michael ain't no idiot. He got two. He only got two other kids. And he got his wife, and he's still rich. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, and, and speaking of his two other kids, Chris got two or three other kids with two different baby mamas. But, but let me say this. Let me say this. I get what you're saying, of what I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. It. 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 Cause it I think that when Chris and Candace got on the show, it didn't come across as. They were, they were not equally yoked. They were living in Candace's mother's home. Chris had his own restaurant. He had his car. She had her car. But it didn't look like this. While Candace comes from money, it didn't look like Candace was just this, like Paris Hilton at the mm -hmm. time. And Chris was just some dude who owned this little barbecue shack around the way. I Now... When you look at it, yes. <laughs> we know Candace is more than likely probably bringing in most of the money, like most of the house. It didn't look like that at first because Dorothy was paying the bills. I don't understand why it's so much of a problem when Robin is with the nigga who isn't paying no bills and he's sleeping with other women. But because he is not white, then it's, it's more palatable. I don't get it. And Giselle is with a dude who was impregnating women on Summer House. He's not about to be... Like, Giselle is paying for every time that that man is coming here. He was a... He's a fry cook. So, I, I don't... Like, I think what happens is the expectation is you're going to be like a Portia. But what does Portia have? Not shit from Simon. What no. does Ashley have? Not shit. What you should want to do is find somebody appropriate for you 
and fall in love with them because you never really know when the tables are turned. Nene was just a stripper when Greg pulled her off the pole. And at the end of his life, Nene was the one who was paying all the bills. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a great thing to say, don't date down. But at the end of the day, the majority of people, I wouldn't know I'm practically a virgin are sleeping with people who are not necessarily equal, equally yoked with them. The difference between Robin, and this is the goalpost moving. The reason why I haven't said nothing about Robin, because Robin has never talked about nobody else's relationship on the show. Unless she, she was talking about, unless she was, unless she was talking about Karen and what she was talking about. <laughs> when they was talk, unless she was talking about Karen and Ray, Ash can't, can, Rob, no, I mean, what's up? Robin was not, Robin was not going around asking Candace, did your mama buy your wedding wing too? That was Giselle and Sharice them. It was not. It was not um, Robin. She don't really get involved in other people's relationships. That's why early I on do, she didn't. I'll agree and, with that. But now we have talked about and we have, talked, and, we have to, and we have talked about Robin over there taking care of a man. It's not like I just said this because Chris is a white man. I have mm -hmm. talked about Robin over there taking care of one too. Robin literally was on the Patreon with Giselle. Now it probably wasn't the show. Lit talking about the girl who came forward and the and the the uh, the you know having baby and all that stuff. So while they might not be on the show, Robin definitely puts her mouth on other people's relationships. But I'm but okay, uh, what I'm saying is hey, Candace put her mouth on, on this relationship. Too. Candace put her mouth on this girl relationship all the time. Mm -hmm. And to me, I just don't see how she has the room to put her name on there. Put her mouth on that relationship when her mama at one point was taking care of her and Chris. And that's just the end of the story for me. <laughs> Y'all, we had so much. I just don't see it no other way. I just, I just can't see it another way. I, you know, uh, we had so many other stories to do. I, I get, hold up, I get what you're saying on some of the candid stuff. Like I said, I would never tell a woman to, you know, my motto is not necessarily just date for love because I feel like that just gives everybody access to you. When I don't think everybody just because you exist, that means that you deserve to be in a relationship. So that's not my motto. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> that I do, I do, I do like when women date um, up and date for financial reasons. But I also think that you should put yourself in a situation that if that relationship comes to an end, you're not like Ash over having to rub this man's feet to stay in that financial situation. If you marry rich girl while you're in that relationship, girl, you better be trying to make your own coin. So if push come to shove, you ain't got to worry about having to stay with somebody who you really don't want to be with. That'll never be Candace's story. I feel like Michael's feet are probably like really leathery uh -uh. and at least about two to three of the nails are black. Could you see Ashley also giving him a pedicure? I would say, I think, I think, I would, let me say, I think, I think Ashley, I think Ashley and Michael, let probably me cuts his hair, trims his nose hair, cuts underneath his, uh, underneath his elbows, I feel like she probably manscapes him, uh, trims his balls, all that. And when that's for the allowance. Not only does she trim his hair, do all of that, I think they give head together too. Oh, I think they're in a bisexual relationship. I do. Because let me tell you something. I don't know no woman alive. Of course they are. I don't know no You're woman. You're a lesbian relationship, bitch. What about You're a lesbian relationship. Your husband pay to suck cock. And you're not popping in her face or pick up the phone and make some phone calls. The simple, the reaction to Can the reaction that Ashley had to Candace when Candace dropped that tea last season at that winery was mm -hmm. everything I needed to know. Ashley know that Michael pays to suck cock because they mm -hmm. probably have threesomes and suck it together. Of course they do. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Heavy on that. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the alleged. Whoa. So I, that, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ashley has to do everything that she needs to do in order to make sure that she keeps that lifestyle. And she said it out her own mouth that I it does Ashley, feel good I, that he takes hell? care of everything and she don't have to. And Karen, I think that as soon as she, but, not, she oh, living above her means. As soon as she wasn't on good terms with Michael, he threw her back to that little apartment with her little girlfriend. Karen told her that. Now, I don't know if Karen had had a drink when she said it, but I know she said it. Unfortunately for like girls like Nene, Karen, they are now kind of like fucking Aniva says, either you're going to pay on the front end or the back end. Karen now is taking care of Ray and paying all the bills. Nene at one point was <laughs> taking care of Greg and paying all the bills. That's what they not had to do, 
but they chose to do. Ashley, <laughs> now you have to do what you got to do in order to say with this man. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you. Is it a coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> We have some super chats. I'm sorry. Uh, Amanda says every year Michael's scandal was her storyline. Thank you for the super chat, Amanda. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Christy says Mims come through with the reads. Love your platform. Thank you, Christy. Negla says, Why does Forehead keep bringing Cookie Monster? Well, they are no longer friends. She has put the relationship on pause because she can't film with her anymore and she can't use her to come and get at Candace. Um, Ace says, me is being set up by the new Porsche. Oh, set up to be the new Porsche. Oh, no, that's, I, a reach. that's a reach. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's a reach. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see her being that girl, but I see her doing her thing in the Potomac realm, but I don't see her being on the level of a Porsche of Potomac. Okay. Like a fan favorite where they praise everything you do. You can go and get with your co-workers, man, and they're going to be all like this. Like, and me, I ain't got that. She ain't got, talk about the Underground Railroad being okay. the actual, like, she don't get passes like You that. know what? I would have more respect for Mia if she went ahead and, and got with Michael. Why? Because he at least has money, and that's all she wants. But the, yeah. I don't think that the Potomac girls would okay ever be on their level. Huh? Mia would go get Ray to spite Karen. But Ray don't have no money. The Potomac mm -hmm. girls will never be on that level. We are who level? The, the Atlanta level. Atlanta girls level. That's a, that's a major reach. But I, I don't think I don't think I don't think so. I don't like yeah. Nene said. They're not building celebrities on these franchises. Nene was a celebrity. And celebrity amongst all the Bravo people. I think you're right, Google. Mm -hmm. We don't even technically know who is the face of the show. It it kind of is Giselle. It's sometimes Karen. It, you know, it's like Giselle. I think it's Giselle and Karen. But you know, it's yeah, because Karen's is dwindling a little bit with this um accident she didn't have. It's gonna go back to Giselle. But none of it's true. None of it's true. It's BS. They made it up. They lie. They don't want to give me credit for anything. How ignorant is that? Ignorant. F <laughs> uh, thank you for becoming a member, Christy. And thank you for the super sticker, Christy. Really be T. Oh, my girl. Really, really be. Love y'all messy asses. Hey, really be. At this That's point, the, the first thing already happened, so you could have cursed really. Uh, Lisa says, Gordon is the pappy. The side dude is trying to say he's the father even after the DNA test. That's why Ashley said, still, Mia be mm. lying so much, this could also be a lie. And I think it is, Lisa. It, I think it's a lie. Nika says, it's possible that besides he, S.A., Robin hasn't been with another man other than Juan. That's what I think it is. That's why she, that's why she hasn't left. Mm. So you're saying that there's a possibility that there's another woman. So Juan is the only. <laughs> I'm a, I'm done. I don't think Robin is a lesbian. I just be playing with her, the lumberjack that she is. Uh, Christy Moss says, "Mims, tell the truth. Come on. I don't remember what we was talking about, but the Casamigos hit about maybe an hour ago. So oh, anything right. could have happened at this point." Uh, Ace says it's hard to tell with Nini and Portia because they both the same mistresses. Um, and they be manipulating and setting up narratives. That true. is true. Mm -hmm. um, and LOLL in with Jamie. Team entertainment. I'm not that did cross my mind about Nene and Portia. Like, is this real? Because <laughs> you just never know. Houston Foodie 713 said, y'all wanted her to work. Who are we talking about? Houston food, you got to let us know. Uh, Measurement said, they're going to make me log off. Mims need to answer my email. And I think my son contacted too because something major about to break. All eyes about to be on. Never mind. Have you ever been swallowed? I did hear some stuff about TD Jakes. Um, I have so many other stories to do that I haven't gotten around to it. But um, maybe by the end of this weekend, I'll put that out. Mm -hmm. Oh, TD Jakes might be getting off scot free real, real, real soon. Because Nothing has been filed as of yet. So he might be free to swallow up somebody else. Um, 
I can't even find out where where are we? Where are we? Uh, too feisty says, do y'all think Ashley set up Candace with Deborah at the fashion show? Candace thinks it's possible. Anybody want to take that one? I do. I think it's possible. Absolutely. Candace has told this girl time and time again, bitch, I don't want to talk to you. My man ain't look mm -hmm. at you. I don't want to talk to you, girl, move on. So why is she even in here? Well, I mean, this was Candace. It was Ashley event. Yep, I agree. I think some, like, they want to pull rank and say, Giselle and Candace, oh, I don't want to talk to each other. But I feel like if there is somebody who has really tried to harm me and my family, I feel like you it would be acceptable for, acceptable for you to pull rank and say i'm not showing up y'all going to film this boring ass scene with these boring ass fashions without you're not even a cast like you're not even a cast. yeah i don't have to talk to you like i don't have to talk to you <clears throat> like i have to talk to these helpers because i work with them girl i don't have to talk to you get out my face <laughs> exactly hypotech the Kali speaks thanks for the super sticker ray dale says my question is this can just criticize a michael for simply being a white man, or is she criticizing the power he holds over Ashley as a white man? I think it's the latter. Because hey! mm. I'm trying to tell you, good boy, Ashley, I don't think Candace really says anything about Michael being a white man. I think y'all take that and just think that she's talking about Michael being a white man. She going after Ashley. And the, and the power he has over her. Um, I agree with the second part. Um, Me right too. Now. Um, yeah. There we go. Come on. Good boy. Uh, Nia says, I think the boy has it wrong. She brings up his privilege of being white because of what Michael gets away with. She brings up race and colorism when it's needed in the conversation. Just saying. Thank you. Thank you, Nia. I appreciate it. Hey, man. Uh, thanks for becoming a member of Reality TV with Kristen Marie. Negla says, Chris has always worked and has a spice line. Chris has always worked. I, think I thought he I, owned the first restaurant, no, did he not? I will say this like much. On the percentage of it, and when they asked her about it, she didn't want to tell him how much he owned in it either. It was like a partial. The jokes come in because I think when they first came on the show, they were living in her mama's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think that's where, because even like I said, I used to talk about it too. I'm not going to say him lie. I think that's where the jokes came in about Chris ain't got no job. He uh, worked, even though he literally had a barbecue re a restaurant but we still say oh he ain't got no job <laughs> you know what i'm saying so but I and that was giselle right was it like giselle and ashley and them or was it like us as in i think people? it was i think it, it was, was dorothy was, dorothy is the one who got yeah. on camera with mia you know dorothy went with karen and said i don't know when they got married that he wasn't he was gonna stop working it was the mom yeah and then yeah even mama she was paying the bills he was giving Mama Joyce. I wouldn't be surprised if she was over there paying child support either. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna be. I will. I will say this. That's Thank not you, me. I do know some women who have been put in situations where if the husband does not have an income coming in, they always they have been. They have. They've had to pay child support. I know some women that went to jail. I don't know that far, but that I is wild. Know, I do know that it's not smart to marry a man when you marry. When you when you get married, you have to. On his child, so it's not smart. Yeah, that's why crazy. Yandy. That's why Yandy didn't legally marry Mendezes because she said the baby mama or baby mamas were going to come after her to pay his child support. And she knew Mendezes' money wasn't going to be. And she knew money wasn't. <laughs> I don't blame Yandy. I just blame her for lying. Yeah, I just blame her for lying. Job. So she said, "Okay, I'm gonna keep you because you have money coming in." But we know that Uncle Sam don't touch your money. And we right. leave it at that. Your money is under the table. Hello. <laughs> uh, Tech Babe said, I'd rather watch a couple build than watch an arrangement be a couple. Just saying. You know, I think that there is a space for people to marry. I think people marry for a lot of reasons. Some people marry for security. Some people marry for love. Some people marry because it is arranged. You know, whatever works for you and whatever continues to work for you. I think the issue that people have with Ashley is we've seen that she married for money and it did not come to fruition. And so that's why people are so hard on her, because you did have to sleep with Michael enough to produce some children. And in present day, you're talking about sleeping with all these other people, but you're still rubbing Michael's feet. It plays right into what Candace says about you. So I don't think she did herself any favors with that. Now, if Ashley would have got 
half, then you'd be like, okay, well, you know, but she. she I get what you're saying, though, but but my point is, she hasn't she hasn't divorced the man yet, but she's still not getting nothing. But we don't know that because she hasn't divorced them. She did say that though, Gabor. She, she yeah, said that's that divorce, so it makes it it gives it gives credence to she's sticking around because she still has access to some of the money because she's willing to rub his feet. You know, good and goddamn well, you would not be rubbing somebody's feet that you don't want when we see your type. If Ashley was out here sleeping with other older men, I'd be like, that's her type. She's like, you know, that that that's her thing. But she's out here dating these little summer house people and having those flings, but still having to rub his feet. That's what, crazy. what happens is when we what the, this is the thing that, that happens when we talk about what's going on on these shows. I feel like when we talk about certain people, we give them the benefit of the doubt, and we and some people we don't. At no point do we do any of us believe that that man is Jeffrey's daddy, and we can totally throw that away. Who's Jeff? But you want me a son. Right, Mio got this fake storyline about this boy being this boy's daddy. With Ashley, y'all want us to, to to believe because you don't like Ashley, you want us to believe that she is really over here, literally rubbing this man's feet every night just because she said it. But 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 if she if it came out of her own mouth, it's so just because Mia said saying? that Jeffrey is is not that Jeffrey that just because Mia said that this man is really uh, doing his paternity test for this son, son, don't believe it that G don't think that this is daddy. But, He's his has been, but yeah. Ashley is a Ashley is a much more astute and shrewd person. I do not. I mean, I base things based on how I feel about how I interpret the person. Mia does not come across as very cerebral. Mia is has multiple times put her foot in her mouth. Andy said, mm-hmm. "So your man's a DJ? No, he's a um such and such." It's the same thing. What like, I'm saying is these girls lie for entertainment. And with certain people, you will give them the benefit of the doubt or you will just say that's totally not true. But with certain people, we'll just say, oh, Ashley ain't getting none. She broke, yada, yada, yada. Think, but, the the this it. but let me say this, Gabor. Mm-hmm. I think what the, the thing, Ashley would not lose anything by getting on TV and saying, yeah, I'm getting half of it because it's all it's an ironclad pre- It's already set in stone. Mm-hmm. So Ashley doesn't have Ashley's not gonna lose anything by saying, Oh, I'm gonna get X amount of dollars. She got her ass on TV and told us I'm not getting nothing. I believe she did. Nothing. Yeah. Because it's a prenup. It's not like they had a handshake and Michael said, Oh, I'm gonna give you X amount of dollars. Don't tell nobody. They have the prenup already said. And, and mm-hmm. one other thing about Ashley is I don't like Ashley. However, more often than not, Ashley overshares her her business, and I tend to believe her. Ashley didn't need to tell us that her mama was in a tent with some man. She, she sure didn't. did. I, I feel like <laughs> Mia is, Mia and is she didn't need to tell us that he was going to sue her ass for being on the show and then turn around. He didn't pretty much went off screen. So if you say that in the confessional, I believe you. Now I believe you even more because he didn't shut the hell off, cut the screen off. So I'm like, oh, yeah, he really ain't trying to play them games. He probably will so, sue her. So if you tell me that you ain't got no money with this prenup, I believe you. You were not saying that way. Ashley has not. I, I feel like the only thing that I feel like Ashley has been deceptive about is that she married Michael for money. That's the one thing she won't say. But that's the only thing that I honestly feel. And I don't like Ashley, but she's like Toya from Married to Medicine. I feel like it, she's just going to put it out there because she really doesn't care. Um, uh, Shamise says, I would have stood with Candace, but when she recently went viral for not wanting light-skinned children, well, that was a whole nother conversation. <laughs> uh, Brent Cap says, Portia ain't got ish from Simon. Simon's ass is lying has been spending money on some 20 plus year old ladies at several clubs here in ATL. Does so he actually have the money? Because we know that you got a million dollars in private jet fees that you ain't paid. And now you're leasing a new brand new Rolls Royce. Um, and measurement says, see if she had that AC fixed at that vacation house, they would have helped her. <laughs> <laughs> And Southside Girl 773 oh, sent a super sticker. Thank you, guys. Um, we were not supposed to go two hours. I'm going to have to change this thumbnail. We didn't get to all of our topics. This is what happens when you actually sit around and listen to a group chat amongst friends. That's, say- what That's what y'all got tonight. Can I say something? Uh-huh. I do want to say this about me. I'm going to make this, you know, I'm a little long with it sometimes. I do. I want to say this about me. I, 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 I am back and forth with the whole media being pushed to be 
possibly the face because it does start to take us down this road with Mia and her lies. And I think one of the things that I want from the girls is for them to start telling the truth. So I can't sit here and be like, oh, Mia, well, Mia gonna do what she wanna do. And then, you know, cause then I feel like I'm talking in circles myself. So I just want to correct that too. That's it. I mean, I like Mia. You know, like we, Mia too, we have made them in. We don't want, we don't want, we don't want, I don't want them, I don't want to get, I don't think the girl should get comfortable in telling lies. Now, do I think that's what Mia's gonna continue to do? Do I think that her and Gordon are gonna continue, I mean, play this up because they don't have no money. So Gordon is gonna do, yeah, I do, but I don't think we should be comfortable with this. I don't really dislike anybody, but I just don't have no respect for how Mia treated her mama last season. I feel like Mia is one of them type of people who get, get when they get something above you, they wanna make you pay. And I felt like every time she sat down with Veronica, Veronica was breaking out in tears. And I'm sorry, Mia, I'm sorry. It was like every time she sat down and then she's saying that my mama relapsed is your fault, Candace. Girl, how? We would have never known nothing about your mama if you had not got on this show and talked about her. Right. One thing I love about Mia that I'm learning, I like her bouginess. I've said this before. I just like how she prances around like she ain't trying to get dirty. It's something I'm like, that's the only thing Mia has really been consistent in, like with how she like it's given very much so high class. Dragish. And I, I love that. It's given dragish to me. Drag. Dragish. Yeah, I do. I yeah. will say this. Like, uh, you know, it, like she would be like that's she walks like she would be on the stage at RuPaul's drag race. Oh no, you didn't. No, I'm not calling her a drag queen. I'm not calling her a transsexual or anything like that. I'm just saying it's over exaggerated movements. I don't typically so? see that. I don't you typically see so? that. From, she gives I don't hope. Typically see that from women. She gives hope. Like when she walks into the room, she looks like she's selling something. You know what I'm saying? The best. That's what she do. That's how. That's how she. That's how she walk around. She walk around like that girl. You know, I was the the baddest girl in the strip club where they were selling lobsters and dresses. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh yeah, strip. Yeah, that's like she walk like, around a strip, like a stripper on the stage. I like mean, coming I, to the stage. I, it's like very exaggerated movements. Like, you know, I, for the I, right I, price. But then what y'all think of Wendy? Wendy who? Or Steffo? She's trying. Mm. But anytime that you have Wendy, I wanna be. That you wanted to show Mia your coochie. I feel like it's not authentic. I don't see that in I don't see that in Wendy. Wendy was not busting it wide open for her home girls like Portia and the girls. I I don't feel that's authentic. I think Wendy does things. I will say that you know Wendy is my girl and she's gonna ever be my girl. But, Connie Spalding. But you know what I actually did think about Connie though, Spalding, with Wendy. bonafide ho. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I actually did think about with with Wendy though. <laughs> You know, I think we met Wendy when we met because everybody always say when she first got on the show, when we met Wendy, she had just had a baby. She did. So five, it's, probably, it's huh? Like five, three or five, three to five months, I believe. We, yeah. So, and so we don't really know what she really was the first season because we never really saw her. Like her, her second season, she had got work done or whatever, but we never really saw her before. We saw her right after she had a baby, so she probably was very insecure about her body at the time. She mm -hmm. was on TV, so she probably was covered up. So I don't think it's fair that we could just really say that she didn't really dress like this or exude this because we had just mm -hmm. met her. Now, she probably more, was going through postpartum and filming and everything. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. as a commentator, she was very pulled up. Um, mm -hmm. But now, it you know, she's showing cleavage every chance she gets when she does book MSNBC. So I, I do think there's a difference. And she even said it. she was more like that nerd girl who mm -hmm. was very much into the books. And mm -hmm. then she went straight from that to marriage and children. And now she, this is what I would consider her renaissance. So I love the fact that she dresses how she wants, when she wants. But I think that sometimes it comes across authentic, inauthentic because I cannot see this woman saying, sure, Mia, come look at my coochie. Because the next thing is, well, which one of you bitches is eating me tonight? That's the progression. I'm looking at my coochie <laughs> after you threw an alcoholic no. beverage in my face and drowned in me. It, it doesn't it doesn't add up, right? It, it yeah, adds, that is, that's I'm thinking my answer to me. Because in my head, I think that Wendy plays the game of wanting to be liked. I think that's why her and Karen became friends because she wanted to be liked by the fans. I, I think that when she pulled the stunt about show me your coochie, it was may maybe this will make a good story. I hate to say that's my girl, I love her to pieces. 
But I, I could I like see, when... I could I, see I, it I... happening. I could. Yeah, what I... did you think of her? I said, "Say all right." <laughs> with these really, and another thing too, like we have to take into account, like even with her, the way that she dresses, when yeah. really has changed. Like I don't know nobody who get a new ass or new titties and don't show them off. She looks great. She does look great. I think she, she has. She all looks, the fashion too. She looks great. She looks great. Don't watch. But I wanted to know week. more so about what y'all thought about her prancing around. Because if y'all feel Let like Miss Girl is. Go ahead. I, I, what what all three of y'all said made sense. Mia does walk walk into a room like she don't want to get dirty, <laughs> but on the flip side, she do walk in the room like she's selling coochie. <laughs> like if you look at the way she walk, it does like she's selling something like that slow, seductive. Like yeah. I'm just taking my time. I'm with it. I'm with it. I would it. say Onyx. I would say Onyx, but she doesn't give Onyx. To me, she gives more like the strip club close to the airport. She, I don't think Mia could do Magic City either. No, because she don't. She don't give me no girl that could really get down. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? She don't give me no girl that'll tear the club up. That's why she's over there. Girl ball climb down. up a pole and then climb on the rafters and then twerk upside down. She definitely not gonna say that. And think, then fall down into a split. Yeah, that I, don't Mia. That type of, I don't think Mia's that type of Jezebel. I think Mia mm -hmm. is the girl who probably did walk around the room, get on stage, probably throw her booty in a circle, get back off. I think Mia probably relied... Let me shut up. <laughs> no, go ahead. She rely on who? <laughs> go tell. She relies on the G's in the club. Is that what you're saying? The ones who wanted to spend an hour with her for ten thousand dollars is that what you was trying to say? Because she's admitted to that. You can say that. That's not. I a think word. that Mia. I think that Mia who's in the champagne room. Is what he's saying, y'all. I'll just say that when Mia looks, the, the with her looks, I think that Mia probably didn't have to do a lot. I don't mm -hmm. think Mia is just this beauty she queen. Mia would married men on the beach outside the club. She had to do a lot. But what I'm saying, I'm talking about as far as a strip club, she don't have to get onto no, no pole and turn upside down and do cartwheel slips and split. I'm a person who thinks that those women who can climb on a rafter and fall off the rafters into a split, I feel like that is a real, real, like, what, what is that? What's the term I'm looking for? Like, I feel like that is a real, y'all help me. Skill. Like skill, thank you. No, it is. But I think that I think that in the strip club though, you got some girls, the girls that can really dance, they ain't really gotta do too much. Mia gotta fuck because she going to give me she could do nothing else. That's, That's why they was walking around in ball gowns and stuff. When we saw her on the beach dancing with Giselle, Not she didn't give me. Ball gowns. That's what that's what type of strip club she said. She said they was in the, they was in ball gowns. That's and I think that Mia was the girl in the strip club or whatever. She was the girl that if she was gonna get her money, she had to she had to you know sell her a little something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all right? Uh, Jamie has. She wasn't a no girl she at the club. She didn't work at the Mercedes strip club. She worked no. at the club where she could be cute and probably sell a little coochie in the back. By the airport. The Las Vegas showgirl a little bit. Is that what y'all mean? In the back. She was she giving. Selling she, it, she, she wasn't selling it in the back. Club. She was selling it on the floor. She was selling it on the floor. Okay. Man. She wasn't selling it in the back. We have to do these super chats real quick, and then we got to let Jamie go because he has a new baby. Um, wait, where were we? No, no, we did these. Um, we will not, on my watch, shame anyone for rubbing a man's feet. If Shannon Sharp or Trayon Rhodes comes to me, I am rubbing more than feet. Mm. Oh. I need, ain't neither one of them, Michael Darby. <laughs> is, this, is this the Hollywood Mooglar? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dolce says RHOP needs authentic relationships and friendship. They need a cash shake up like RHO and Y. Only mm -hmm. Ramona Luan and Sonia stayed. I, I definitely really do need a cash shake up. They do. But I think that Ashley and Robin got to be. I honestly and truthfully, Ashley and Robin shouldn't come back next season. It really shouldn't be Giselle, but she don't come back. No, oh definitely let Giselle stand on her own and see what she does without Robin. Um, Rodell says Mia is so unserious, and I have grown to love her for that. You know, she she's an acquired taste. I don't mind Mia now. Chanelica says she knew her daddy was a damn hoe. Ooh. She knew her daddy was a damn hoe. That's that's Brandon. That's what uh Lisa Ray Mama said on Ayala. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mia so says, uh, y'all ever thought Mia feet be hurting? She got some big shoes to fill. <laughs> She got a big foot. She's standing on her good foot. 
Uh, Ooh. Paige says, Mia has that orphan spirit in my Gabor voice. Mm. She mm. Y'all, this has been super fun. I want to thank everybody. I have tagged them in the description of this video. I'm going to have to change because we didn't even get to half the topic. So, um, anybody have anything to close out? No, no, no this was fun. fun. Yeah. All this right. This was well, good. Thank Thanks you guys for joining for us, y'all. Yeah, uh, thank you for being here. Anybody going live tomorrow? Anybody got something they're talking about tomorrow? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Okay. My niece oh. is tomorrow, Bailey. She turns three. Oh, happy birthday, mm, happy Bailey. Happy birthday. Yeah. You, you gonna start to uh go to sleep on time? <laughs> 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 what is the what is the rich uncle doing for Bailey? We might just offer some ice cream. That's it. Mm. Okay. You gonna shut the ice cream parlor down? Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna a little <laughs> song. For an hour or two. <laughs> okay, y'all. This was super fun. Uh y'all have a good night. Good night, y'all.